Make we talk about mami and guapo. He the sell for market and he the always tie money na for a rapper. The money the lost all time and he always make it feel bad. Mami and guapo don't always check how you feel save the money fine. So that when you need them, you go just go take the money use them. He no like bank them and because he, he no say bank them not the give loan for grow his business or for send his kid for school. The next day for market, he go visit the friend Manka for his store. When he reached there, he noticed say the store don't big again. Manka now they buy plenty cargo put them for his store. He don't understand how Manka his store go grow so big in such a short time. When he asked Manka, Manka tell you see they save money every day with peg school. That will make it to decide say he to go start saving money every day with peg school. He learned from his friend Manka say not be only a cow if you do with peg school. In fact. For peg school, once you open an account, buy shares, you get equal voting right, and you fit a decision too. It's simple for open an account with peg school. You just need to go for any peg school office, then follow this simple step. Then, one, fill the application form. Peg school worker then will help you for filler. Number two, pay your registration fee when only fifteen thousand francs. Number three, buy ordinary share now fifty thousand francs only. If you pay the money, save small, small. If you even buy some other kind of share with the Nicole and say preference share, this one 500,000. Then number four, snap two half picture them, you give them. For number five, tell per school who be a chop chair, then give them photocopy for your ID card. Bam! Now all that way mommy and go for do for open your account and for start enjoy all the fine fine things the way people they way they get account for per school then they enjoy them. Per school day for Bonaberry, for Nouvel Route, for corner bling pressing, for Nanga building. For Aqua, then they are for Ancien Cinema Lobelis. For Yaoundé, then they opposite a call public BMRC Akasia for Bunyebe Tollgate. You feel also call per school for this number then. 651-404-687 or 654-064-641. Since Mami and Gwafo start for safe your money with per school, you never lost your money again. Just six months after he start safe with Peg School, Peg School don't already give you loan for take and grow a business. He they so happy. This one they make it they thank Peg School worker them plenty, and he they tell all his friends and say for Peg School, he they get plenty ideas for use your money. So make all wanna contact Peg School. Yaga Rough gonna begin Diaspora Checker Shabba Living life, chopping life just how I want If you think you can stop me, you really can't Take a walk to my past, make you understand How I raised myself, one man band Now for it End, weekend, man they chase that door, rich Big Ben London City and the system Shit held me down like na Tristem I've been coming up from the ground floor One step at a time just to be sure My VIA Le Pope was hardcore If you wear in my shoes you go back draw In my life, na me be the driver Step in at the place like a diver Stand tall like na skyscraper Bombo, I'm all about the paper Welcome to my world You're only for you check mine The route don't matter but the finish line I keep it going on my own line Reason my life to 
taste like a fine wine Give marriage counseling, but you no know, get man Smonger, place cold, eat the blow fan My mind made up like a whole gang I get food, but you day with empty pan Keep up spiritual, Ramadan Stay for my own job, caravan You know if you beat me for my own town I'm a football huh, field, Catalan Bienvenue Catalan. chez moi, c'est validé Ici chez nous c'est la fête Welcome to my world, c'est validé Ici chez nous c'est la fête Bienvenue chez moi, oh, c'est validé, oh, ici chez nous c'est la fête. Ici j'ai, j'ai tout à gogo. Oh. Ok, would you go live? Oh? All right, all right, let's do it. Yes, people, um, welcome to this um, live video. And I'm happy that you're all tuning in. And I hope that you enjoyed um, the break and the music from um, Rough K. Um, our topic, uh, I mean, our topic for today is the negligence of diaspora in 237 showbiz. The reason why um, I brought this live video, why I decided to have this talk, the talk is um, <laughs> is because it's really been it's really been a burden to some um, diaspora entertainers and artists. Um, I've had a um, series of complaints from them about this particular subject about um, two three seven industry in Cameroon not wanting to integrate the diaspora. Um, they find it difficult to be integrated. So. Um, today we've decided to um, um, break the the coconut, as I say. So we're going to break the coconut. We're going to hear from um, from some of our um, showbiz um, showbiz personnel, like entertainers, mm -hmm. artists. We are going to hear from them. So the first person I'm going to bring on stage is going to be um, for you to see. Is going to be. Um, Ted Franklin, um, he's the CEO of um, Rainmakers Entertainment, resident in the UK. Um, he's in charge of getting um, artists from Cameroon into the diaspora to perform. So he's in charge of international art. So I'm going to um, bring him in. And before I bring him, I'd just like to acknowledge a few people we have um, for Kevin watching us. Thank you. We have um, um, Frig Zelina Sanji, um, Adele Clarice from America. We have Mimi Sue. Thank you guys for watching. Please, guys, as you come in, as you watch the video, please, please share the video, share the video. As much shares as we can get, as more people as we can get on this live broadcast, it will be really, really helpful. So I'm going to bring Ted Franklin now to the stream. Hi, Teddy. Hi, no, good evening. <laughs> good evening. How are you this evening? Well, thank you. Yeah, are you looking forward to the show tonight? Well, to be fair, yeah, I've got my popcorn, I've got my juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, <means laughs> it means you're all... It means you're all charged up. I mean, this is, this is going to be a very hot topic tonight. So... 
I think everybody needs to sit tight on their belt. I can see Adele Clarice is like, I'm right here, I'm right here. <laughs> it's been a burning yeah. topic for a lot of people. So yeah, I think we're gonna have, it's gonna be an interesting show. The next person I'm gonna bring to you guys in the live broadcast, because we're gonna be breaking this coconut, four of us, is our next guest is um, Ruff K. You just listened to his song, um, Welcome to My World, his latest release. Um, and there's even a contest um, currently going on for you to submit your video telling us about your world. Um, so I'm going to bring him I'm going to bring him to the light. I mean, they are all ready tonight. Everybody has their, it's only me left. I think I need to get a bottle of brandy as well because they are all having wine or something. It's like they are charged up. They are ready to speak tonight. It's going to be hot tonight, guys. <laughs> Let's yeah, bring yeah, Rob yeah. King. Mimi, send your hand. Let me give you some popcorn. Mimi, where are you? Take popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> let me bring Rob K to the street. Hey, Rob K. Yeah, Rob yeah, K. listen, yeah, listen, listen. What's up? I've got my I've got my Henny and Coke in a wine glass. That's legendary. It's the way. <laughs> All right. What's up, people? Are there Clarice is um What's up, Ade Claris? You know, <laughs> since back then, I met Ade Claris. I think it was back in 2010, 2009, something like that. It's been a while. Ade Claris is doing her thing in the USA. Big ups to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, guys, we are just going to start... Um, we are we are going to start while well, we'll be waiting for um michael michael jemiah to join us um he's he's held up in some in some um um, um busy schedule there he's he's on his way he's traveling so he's just up and about but he'll be joining us soon he'll be joining us soon so um we are going to start we'll just start by some introduction first before we we hit the topic i know i've given you guys a brief introduction of our guests so we're just gonna let them talk and give some summary of who they are and then from there we are going to go on to the subject matter proper so let me start with uh, um ted ted franklin's um could you just introduce yourself to our audience so they know who well, they know um, who you are hi there guys good evening i'm ted franklin from rainmakers entertainment um i went into entertainment or promotion event organizing a while ago when i was back in university but then i left it because of work family you know the whole good shabab you know what we in the diaspora go through and then recently, I picked it up from where we left off. So, this is your boy, Ted Franklin. When we come to the table, I'm here tonight with Nora Brown to talk about Jaspera players in the entertainment industry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Teddy. I'm just, I'm just looking by uh, um, Adele. Like, Adele is, she's on a hot seat. She cannot wait for this topic. It's like... <laughs> It's like it's let me let me just show like a comment from Adele. <laughs> she's it's, she's on and on and she's inviting her friends already that please so please this topic like this we need to talk about it. Um which shows that yeah a lot of diasporan artists are are really having a lot of difficulties um with two three seven showbiz in Cameroon. So it's it's something that we really need to talk about. Um, let's let me just get a few people who hear their comments. You have um, Breezy Vile. He says, "Even me too. We need this. <laughs> it's oh, serious." Oh, Breezy, Breezy, that's my <laughs> guy. That's my guy. Breezy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so Breezy. Um, then there is someone here who is. Um, this is. Um, Freeze Asanji. He says, "Oh, Uncle, I see you." Oh, that's my niece. That's my niece. That's mm -hmm. my niece right there. Come again. Sorry, guys. You know, juggling family not easy. Thank you. These are realities. These are realities of the <laughs> Yes, the reality is like you know. 
you have to do all these and then put family there. It's yeah. Okay. There's a lot of noise at the background. I don't know. Is it mine? I've got some kids around though. Yeah, I think uh, so. Let me where's the remote, Arela? Give me the remote. Put the volume down. Arela, put the volume down. Okay. Where's the remote control? Put it down a bit. Okay, guys, we're going to we're going to crack on now. I'm going to give the floor to um to to Ted Franklin's. Oh, so Teddy, the topic today, as we all know, is oh, yeah. Let me listen, please. As we all know, is the negligence of diaspora in two three seven showbiz. <laughs> Um, you are you you as an event organizer. I will say that I will say that to some extent. Um, I will say that I'm an event organizer, isn't it, Rough K? Right? Yes, you are. You are. I mean, yeah. one 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 of my very first um performances um was during your was it your thirtieth birthday? My thirtieth. Yeah, you were the only. Yeah, guest yeah. Artist when then. when when yeah. I had just released my. My first official single, um, Ben Sikin Rap. Rap. Um, yeah, was at your thirtieth um celebration, which was, which was a, the groove, man. It was lovely. And we are and looking forward you, yeah. to the fortieth, eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> that was twenty eleven, twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was twenty twelve. No, okay, right. so so let me leave the floor now to actually Teddy. I want you to break the coconut. Come on, hit it hard. Like say it as it is. Yeah, no mercy today. We have no mercy. We are all charged up today. We need to break the coconut, right? Mm -hmm. So say it as it is. Let's hear from you on this topic. What do you have to say? What are your concerns? What are the problems? How should we sort out this issue? What is really the issue? First of all, I would like to start by saying the issue is Cameroon in general. You understand? Mm -hmm. The people on the ground fail to understand that we are one army. You understand? Mm -hmm. We are different parts of one army. You see, we yes. are like the soldiers fighting abroad. They are like the soldiers mm -hmm. back in Bay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. How does this function? <clears throat> we abroad, we need material. When we run out of stuff, we need stuff from base. So they have to support us from base by sending us stuff and acknowledging that these people are out there fighting for us as well. We see, mm -hmm. that's something they do not understand. And the, the fact that they do not understand that aspect is what is leading to their, their neglect, you understand, of the diaspora player in the industry. Mm. For instance, um, one of the yeah, biggest tools of promotion of music is the physical presence and performance of artists. You see, the physical presence of artists performing in places is one of the biggest tools of promotion. You see, okay. Come on, Black so, Angel. Come so, can you guys hear me? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in my experience, what I've realized is the Cameroonian industry quite quite neglect the people that they do not know. Yeah. It's not potentially all the diaspora, as I have noticed. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's only the people that they do not know. People who have no names yet. You understand? Because I've seen people who came after me. 
and all of a sudden, they, they are big names, they are powerhouses in the industry. You understand? And they are all in the diaspora as well. You see? They are all in the diaspora as well. So, when I say they neglect diaspora, to be fair, I think a fair assertion would be they neglect the name that they do not know. You see? Yeah. And then, they neglect people who refuse to step below their standards to, to put it in quote, kiss out. You see? Mm -hmm. Which is a lot of things happening. Because I've, I've, been, I've been talking to other people who are in my position. I've been talking and asking for advice, learning, you know, hearing from their own experiences and everything. And then I realized it's, it's not just about diaspora. It's about the people with no name. You understand? Yeah. But if I was a big name, if I was the big name in the diaspora, they would know me. You understand? They would know mm -hmm. me. And, 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 and they, 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 will, they, will, they will align with me. You see? Yeah. But because... They don't. We don't have those names. We don't have those big names. You understand? Yeah. That's why we sideline a lot of a lot of us. You you see? So a lot of us in the diaspora are sidelined because they do not know us. You see? So for instance, now let's say um, Abel Singer. We all know or have heard the name Abel Singer the long. You understand? If Abel Singer was organizing an mm -hmm. event today, people in Cameroon will know Abel Singer is doing an event. And if Abel Singer stands, get me this artist, he will know it's Abel Singer. And then they will know that, okay, now big man, and a big man will land on that. You understand? Yes. But because, yes. Like some boy will never ever hear his name, Rainmakers Entertainment now, you understand? Ah, uh, master, you know, make sense for me. You, you understand? So now, I have to be chasing bloggers. Chasing people with platforms. Oh, please promote. Some ones will not even answer you until you start mentioning figures. You see? <laughs> you understand? Okay. That's one aspect of it. Discussing with them from abroad. Right. Now, I take an example of people who have gone back please, to Please, as you come in, as you come in, share the video. Please help us share, share. Maximum please, shares. Share to yes. groups, please. Share to groups. Yes. So, then the excuse they always give. They always give that excuse. Um, they always give the excuse, oh, um, you have to go back home. You need to get acquainted with the people and all of that. I call that excuse absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. You understand? Yeah. The diaspora is a big tool to get a culture out there. You see, but mm -hmm. in my experience, Cameroonians or the Cameroonian community does not use the diaspora enough, you see, to get our culture out there. Okay, out there. let's take for instance the music see, industry. But in my experience, Cameroonians or the Cameroonian community does not use the culture out there. Okay. So, the music industry does not utilize that because I know, for the for instance, we have um, we have um, we have the Com Com Association and the various other associations. They spread their culture. They spread their culture. You see, bro, the there's some echo music, going on. Yeah, what's that echo? Can you hear the echo? Yes, it's like somebody has a phone in there which is watching the live as well. So someone has got it on loudspeaker. That's the issue, I think. Okay. Can I call it, can I carry on? Yes, yes. So um you see our various cultures, we have like the com meeting, the band stop meeting, the meta people. When they are spreading their culture, they host events here. They have annual conventions. You understand? They, yeah. they, they, they have annual conventions. 
they do it in parks in Belgium. They do it in, in the public. They dance. They dance. The Oroko dance in public. You understand? Okay. You see, they always bring their artists. We need a Paris. They bring Oroko artists. We need a Paris. You come there. You sing. You understand? Okay. This is a small group of people in the diaspora promoting their own little culture and their own music. Yeah, but now, way. as a whole, you go to a Cameroonian artist and try to bring them out in the diaspora because that's another way for our music to go far. Host multiple concerts. Because, for instance, Nora, you and Rocky have been here for donkey years. Yeah? Can you yeah. tell me the time when you thought there were Cameroonian shows back to back? Can you tell me if there's that there's been that time? Never, <laughs> never, never, never. Never. You understand? Our presence, our presence in the diaspora is is it's minute, small, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. small. You understand? And now it's for we, the promoter, we, the event organizer, to make this work. And the only way we can make this work is if the people in Cameroon start acknowledging our youth or our importance. You understand? Because if somebody looks at you and says, "Nora will be." A, a, a key a, a key player in my destiny, me fulfilling my destiny. There's ways that they will, they will respond to you when you ask for favors or question or approach mm -hmm. them with you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because they don't look at it like that, you see, they don't look at it like that. They're all thinking short term. You see, yeah, just, so when you they are thinking of the now, of the, the now. now. Yeah. The now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So when you reach out to somebody and say, Oh, listen, I have this show, I would like to get you on, or something. All they think about is, what am I getting out of it? Hello? Your music yeah. is going out there somewhere. You understand? Your music, your presence will influence people listening to your music more than just it being on Spotify. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your music is out there. You're taking your music because if you're proud of your art, you'll be willing to take it even, even to a outer Mongolia. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you're exactly. proud of your art, you'll take it to places. But I've realized that our artists of this generation, they don't. See, back in the days, back in the days, Petit Pays go move song, wrong go make video for France. Longue, longue, go make video for France. Emi Kange, make video for France. You, you understand? On Abeka, to be all those people, they made videos abroad because their music was going places. Places. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they were taking their music. They were taking their music to those places. Um, now, Emi Kange sing... Uh, Je plein ton son, we can sing for black and white for London. Mm -hmm. For um, Dorsey. Yes, in those days. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. In those days. Yes. He's willing yes. to do that. You understand? I bet. I bet <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's, about, that's about 17 years ago, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you understand? Ago. But if you look at that old generation, they were willing to cross border. You understand? And do music abroad. Take their music to the people. But now let's look at our own, our own uh, musicians. I think only until last month, Vivid went to, to Dubai and shot a music video in Dubai. I think I think, I think Panchak has been doing a few. Yeah, Chaco, Chaco, mm. Chaco yeah, on, his Chaco, trip, on his trip yeah. to America. Yeah. On his trip to America, he's done a few. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, understand? Mm -hmm. you, but you get what? Okay, in an industry that we have a thousand plus artists, you understand? And maybe mm -hmm. hundreds of ones who claim they have made it. How come mm -hmm. they don't do that? How come they don't take that music? Okay, let's forget about me, the promoter. Yeah? Let's talk about the artists and their labels and themselves. Mm -hmm. What are they doing to take their music? When we see people going, Davido tour, uh, uh, Mr. Easy tour, uh, Diamond Platinum tour. How many Cameroonians have we seen doing a tour of any place? How many Cameroonian artists have we seen doing a tour of any place, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, maybe there is, or there are a couple. I've not heard or seen. You understand? Mm. I've not heard or seen. People release good albums, good EPs, but they, the songs all remain in their geographical location. And the only who carries it abroad is we, the diaspora, who listen to it abroad, who go and play mm -hmm. it in places for other people to listen to it. How many people True. visit Cameroon on holidays? How many foreigners? Leave their country, say they are going to Cameroon for holidays. Tourism in Cameroon is zero, my brother. Zero, in fact, minus mm -hmm. we are reverse polarity. <laughs> you understand? 
So, how are they going to hear your music if it's not diaspora <laughs> taking it abroad? Who else is going to listen to your music? <clears throat> you understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We in the diaspora, we do so much for the Camarena industry, even though they don't acknowledge it. We sit here with people from other nations, other continents, other religions, tribes, whatever. We play Cameroonian music. We push, we, we sometimes we even have to force it down the throat of people. Even though I think it's not enough, we need to do more. But mm -hmm. you go down there, they don't even appreciate that idea that you sit down, you're listening to somebody's tune in the midst of Indian. You understand? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. sit down, you're sitting with your Chinese friends, Indian friends, you're listening to a tune, you even take a video, you send it to the person, say, see we are vibing your song. And the person takes it and archives it like it's not important. Like, behave yourself. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> this is somebody spending their time listening to your music and promoting it. You understand? And sometimes we even do that, not even because the song is nice, it's just because we want to show that our own two can be out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. But they don't, they don't appreciate. They don't appreciate. You, you, you tell people you want to bring them for shows, <clears throat> They come up here and they call you on head of prices. Prices they are not even worth. You understand? I called uh, my team reached out to Blanc Bali one time for a show. And she asked for, for what the business class ticket. Are you worth a business class ticket, Blanche? Can your music alone buy you a business class ticket? <laughs> can, it, can your music alone buy you a business class ticket? No, you cannot. It cannot. You understand? <laughs> I reached out to uh, what name? He said, uh, two thousand pounds more. I asked him, "Is it crazy? Is it because I want five hundred? Two thousand pounds more? Is it because I want five hundred? Is it crazy? You understand? They attach figures to themselves that they are not worth it. They're not worth it. You understand? <laughs> They talk in foreign currency. They talk in foreign currency. Eh, eh, they try me, try me euro, try me, try me leave. Like, come on, man. They call you for sure every day for snack. You pay taxi go. You pay taxi go. So one day, if you never have a job, you be waiting me to go give you a job for snack. I'll call you for sure. I'll pay your flight. I'll pay your, 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 your visa. Something you cannot afford for yourself. For some you can't perform, do what you, you call art, for something you love, then you do not. Like, you do okay. Are you all right? Ted, um, Mo, take, Mo, take, Mo, read a few comments before you, so that you continue, because more questions and comments that will come mm. up. Mm -hmm. let's, let's show this comment from um, Vrizival, he says, yeah, I spoke to a few influencers here in the States. Some said we in the diaspora are not uh, consistent. Nora Brown, I hate, I hate, sorry, boy, Karia. I <laughs> hate, say, fucking hate that statement. <laughs> sorry about my not, French. Some say we're not dedicated. We're not fully focused hell? on the music. And what I had hell? to explain to them why they see things that way. <laughs> So, okay. um, Ted, yo, what yo, have you ma, 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 Joe, ask some, ma, Joe, yeah, ma, Joe, ask some, before we continue. Sorry, if you're saying we are not consistent, most say we don't do now only one, just the one that we've done. Have you supported it? Have you encouraged us? Because these things they come with encouragement. Okay. If you're not gonna encourage us from the one we've done, from the money we've spent, from the sacrifices we've made. How the hell do you expect us to be consistent? Very good point. So, Nora, you see, Breezy Bill is an artist in America. He's a Cameroonian artist in America. Okay. Yes. So he too is going through the same things that we all are going through. You understand? And yeah. I will not just say, you know, because I think, let's be honest, let's be real and honest with ourselves. I think for the people I know, I've seen just one person in this diaspora where he talks say he did into entertainment full time. And now one person I don't see him. One. You understand? Now one person I don't see him. You, you, you get me? The rest of us, the rest of us have main hustle. We have hustle. 
Family, family, oh. Bro, family. That, that, that guy then for Cameroon, they stay for their papa house. Then he pay bills and shit. Thank you. Yeah, no, they talk rubbish, bro. Somebody they take clothes for where and so for, show, for borrow. You understand? When you work and follow artists every month end, I bet can't drop even a fifty thousand instead for that clothes. They're not in mind. You understand? They do it part time. Half of these artists do not go to school. If you ask half of the artists, they'll tell you they start singing music about university. They're not finish school. They don't have things to do. Now very few of the artists they actually finish school and they get homework. The rest don't. Now I do next. Go me they get work. So you'll do it again. <laughs> you understand? Then your mom can't she don't talk to you. So we for Jasper, I will be lazy. Are you all right? Are you okay? You can't say that, especially you with people Jasper. You know if you talk so. People with Jasper for here, they, they live and feed, they get to feed family first before they even get small allowance to do their own thing the way and their passion. And not uh, and not only the family here you have to fend for other people back home. thank you yes. thank you you have, you have family members on your neck you have your own you, you have know. your wife your children i mean thank you have you. kids they need their own things and thank stuff you. You understand? it's, it's such you. a huge sacrifice it's it is such a it huge is. sacrifice it is. it is a very 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 big sacrifice you understand then it's it, it just like why you know like that statement, we I'll, I'll not talk much about this statement. Rob, you go elaborate more on that statement. You understand? Because now I want to you. You elaborate yeah. more on that statement. We might move on. You see him. So, more this, take, wait, this more take another me. one. More take another one. We don't talk okay. on that. Then you have this comment. If it wasn't for the abuse Kosi made, I wouldn't have known the Belgian Cameroonian music producer and singer. I Who's don't know that? Who that. I don't know who that is. Um, no, well, can you tell us? Can you tell us who that singer is? Na if you're still there. Na yeah, oh, yeah, Nabil, Nabil, na 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 uh -huh, yeah, na okay. na But na Nabil moved to Cameroon years ago. Yeah. Okay. Na you. Nabil is Cameroon based. Okay. Thank you. Now you know. that comment of Kieran bring up. Right. Let's now talk about the people who left diaspora to go to Cameroon and do entertainment. Pete Bakadi, Nabil. Ever, 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 and Bear, and many others. Blanche Bailly. Blanche Bailey, we, we we were in the same place together. Thank you. Okay. You know. So, people, they will come up for here. If the fish, because I know I understand that yes, for you to do it full time, you need to go to Cameroon. You understand, Nora? Mm -hmm. Nora, that's understandable. You understand, but it doesn't mean. You cannot make it in music out here. Exactly. It doesn't mean that. Because I'm sure the same support that they give to the very few diasporans, they can give it to other people. You understand? Exactly. Yeah. If, um, sorry, sorry, Teddy. If guys, if guys who are based in Nigeria, for example, let's um, quote someone like Joe Boy, for example, you know, he's trending in Cameroon. If he can make it from Nigeria into Cameroon, why can't I make it from London into Cameroon? Why not? You know, exactly. it's all exactly. it's all through the internet and the DJs playing that stuff and the TVs. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. And it's not like we are not approaching these um, platforms. We do approach the TVs, the DJs, and all of that. Okay. That, anyway, sorry, carry on. That's another yeah. comment. They said, um, Humphrey again says. What I can advise now is for you guys abroad to form a team, come out with a track if possible, <laughs> showcase yourself. Everyone will acknowledge your existence like and dedication. From there, many things will begin to happen. I don't understand what he means by you. form a team. Thank you, thank you, Humphrey. Thank you, Humphrey, for that. Uh, we, we appreciate the advice. But you know what I told the few people I'm working with? I told them, listen, yeah. We are tired of waiting to be invited onto someone else's playing field. You understand? When we have our own playing field that we are not using. You, you understand? understand? We are tired. We are tired. And guess what counts? And, 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 and guess, guess what counts? Our playing field counts even more. Because at the end of the day, I assure you, the Spotify, the YouTubes, even the concerts, 
these artists based in Cameroon, they make their money from the diaspora. For yeah. example, when you get paid from your YouTube streams, YouTube actually takes into account where the streams are coming from, the geographical location. If the streams are coming from Cameroon, unfortunately, you don't get paid as much as the streams from the UK or the USA. Guess why? Because the streams from the UK or the USA, if YouTube is doing an advert, let's say for toothpaste, they know that the people in the UK will purchase these goods more than people in Cameroon. So that's why. So at the end of the day, the streams from the diaspora, they count for a lot. So do not play with the diaspora. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, we have money. a lot of okay guys, we have a lot of comments and they, they will keep coming. So it's good that we really take these comments as we go on with the conversation. Okay. So let me crack, let me let me bring them on guys. We have to it's a lot. Um let me see we have Bayon says is watching from Bamenda. Thank you. Uh um Humphrey says one hand of it tie bundle. Thank you. Um, Humphrey says collabo with Kosi we happen in May when I'm in Cameroon. Good. Um, then somebody says, uh, let's take this one. I think that was when you talked about Blanche Bailey. So Nadesh says every artist deserve determines their worth. You can't say they are not worth it. No, you no, don't. You no, don't no, determine. No, 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 no. no. Nadesh, stop! Don't say that stuff, man. Nadesh, every artist determines their worth, not in the market. You understand? Exactly. The market, the market determines you, you not you. It's understandable. Exactly. Not in the market. You can't come to the market to sell me rotten tomatoes for a bag for ten thousand and let me buy it. And you hear me? You, un you understand? Tomatoes, that's my price. Don't tell me that. That's rubbish. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm coming to you for business because I know that, listen, you have a product, but this is what, on average, this is what this product is telling you for. You understand? I understand you can name your price. You understand? But don't, 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 don't blow up your price. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, Ted, Ted, before, market, yeah, Ted, market. before you go, you know, out here in the UK, I don't know about the USA, that is, but in the UK, um, I mean, I've been in the music longer than most of these guys. Mo Blanche Bailey is the one who reached out to me when I released the song and she came to the UK. So I know about the entertainment industry. In the UK, when you want to pull out a show, there is no Cameroonian urban artist, aside from maybe the Petit Pays and the older generation, that will give you, that will give you a crowd that you can actually sell tickets worth £2,000. There is none. However, the people in the UK, they just like to go out and have a good time. So when you have an event, they will come for the event. It's not because it's Blanche Bailey coming or it's Magasco or it's whoever. It's just because they just want to go out and have a good time. You mm -hmm. saying that um, pay me £2,000 or fly me through a business class. At the end of the day, you have to give something to gain something. We are all, like Ted said earlier, we are all part of the same army. We are still um, we are still coming up together. We have not gotten to that stage where we, are, we should be asking for thousands of pounds. It is ridiculous. Exactly. Let's take the next one. Nadesh, I hope you understood that. Okay, this is from Dikum Rosie. She says, everything in Cameroon is expensive. In terms of cameraman, makeup artist, and everything, I won't book just mm. a camera person for wedding. The price was is that 15 million? Rita, as you exactly, know, exactly, exactly, exactly. And I'm sure, and I'm sure, this is going be to my block. I'm like, sure seriously, huh? Hmm? Yes, a daimyo. What? <laughs> yes, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Just because either abroad, they will change the price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they charge. They charge uh, tenants, tenants for for for, for, for bundes, for dance. The maga to dance for them. These tribo so people. They charge seven million for dance for a music video. Can you imagine seven million? <laughs> you know, you know, one thing I've one thing I, I I one thing I noticed is one thing I've realized is that 
this 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 artist this artist down there in in in, in cameroon right the entertainers and whosoever they are they just think that because because you're resident in the diaspora you're flooding you're minting millions. you're minting money yes you're, you're picking money from the tree so the money is just there so that is why when you approach them for services or you approach them for anything else they just they just escalate the prices you know some of them when they just give those their crazy prices i just laugh and i just move on you know i don't even i don't even say where well, i can't be bothered you it's understand? funny it's really funny and, and, and by them doing that they don't know that they lose they instead they instead are in the losing and they lose a lot they lose a lot doing that you understand honestly <sighs> The, 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 it, it's really baffling, and it, um, it's Rizzi says, we, Rizzi says we we get for pay bills. We have to take care of ourselves and exactly. others back home. Exactly. Thank you. You know, your um, eyes. You know. Then yeah. um, now, Chumbon now don't write essays. So no, <laughs> Chumbon says, "What did she say?" This is a long comment. Um, she said, "Perhaps instead of calling them out about the crazy prices they are attaching, we need to discuss how to educate our musicians and other celebrities on financial packages and how to charge depending on the events and performance. We cannot trash them or the price they ask simply because they gave us a price. Um, that art they are coming to present to us takes work, and this is the only way." Um, many might make money. So please, as we hold artists back home accountable, let's also hold ourselves accountable. Then we all... Okay, can, can I say something? Also, can I say something about just, that? Then we are all going to just... Um, we are all going to just... To me, to me, we are all going to just um, forget about the showbiz, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's not like it's, it it's not it's not like here yeah, Nora Brown. It's not like um, promoters, um, you know, such as um, Ted or and whoever. It's not like they don't try to negotiate. They do try to negotiate, and they try to make the artists to see reasons why, you know, the prices they are asking for, you know, is just not you know feasible. They try to explain to them that look, we are all trying to build an industry here, you know, in the UK, you know, sometimes I may not sell tickets up to the amount that you're asking, but at the end of the day, if you come to the UK, you're actually expanding or amplifying your, you know, your, 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 your you. reputation. You understand? But they don't want to reason with things like that. It's not like, you know, they just ask for a ridiculous amount and you just come out bashing at them. No, you we actually try to negotiate and talk they things want, through, they don't but they don't listen. want to listen. Yeah, you they know? don't want to listen. They think that, you know, yeah. Um, so um, Big Bora is watching us. He says... Um, hey, he says, Big okay, Bora is, man. Yeah, Big Bora Big Bora, man. Big Bora man is watching. <laughs> um, Itu is, it is having a swelling time with... Um, with the industry um yeah. then big borrow man has... knows big more big borrow man knows nobody today he knows he knows the story you understand yeah yeah he you knows know? ah he knows he's been in the game for a long time okay mm -hmm, let's see um, exactly. sister Mbole Ekale. let's read Mbole Ekale. i am waiting for this um live video um yeah, let's read let's there. bring Let's bring one of her come. She says, wait to by why, but why do you need to live in Cameroon full time? Exactly. Why, why can't a Cameroonian artist not be able to target Cameroonians in the diaspora? In, thank you. Thank you. The question I've been asking for 11 years, for 11 <laughs> damn years. Listen here. Listen here. I, I went on, Valley's on fire. Yo. I think I need some dailies too because you're Yo, down. yo, yo. I went, listen here. Yeah. I went to, I actually went to Cameroon with Blanche Bailey. She's my tight person. She would say that I'm actually the one who mentored her. I actually went to Cameroon with her, but after a few weeks, I looked at the situation. I'm like, nah, bro, this ain't for me. You understand? First mm. of all, I can't speak French. That's a big barrier. 
Second of all, even if I can speak the French, how much really can I make from this music in Cameroon? It's not much. I have a finance career. I have a wife, I have kids, I have a mother, I have siblings in Cameroon I have to look after. I can't come here, come on, who am I fooling? You understand? If truly, if truly this music is, um, is like a global village, like they say it is now, I can make it from any gutter in the world. You understand? The guy who made Gagnam Star that went viral and it's like the most viewed song, he, 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 he's not in a, in, in a specific location. But because we are in a global village, there's social media, you just need to do your thing and do it good. So I said to myself, look, I'm, I'm fooling myself. I need to go back. You understand? So that's the same question I've been asking. Why are they saying you have to come to Cameroon? Why? Why can't you just stay in London or wherever you are, make good music, promote it, you know, be friendly with DJs and promoters and all of that and push it out? Why do you have to be in Cameroon? Why? And okay, now that I'm now that I'm trying to become a, a rapper now like this, mm -hmm. are you sure they are going to into it? <laughs> no, but see, by the time they hear your bars, yeah, by the time they feel them bars, yeah. <laughs> are, they, are you sure they are going to integrate? They are going to integrate me like this with all this. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. They'll feel you. Are going through like this. I'm beginning to you, get scared. You, though. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Tiny Temper. I don't know if some people know Tiny Temper. It's a UK rapper. He said that we are gonna keep screaming till they hear us out. That's exactly what we're gonna keep doing. Yeah. Okay, let's, take, let's take another comment. Um, mm -hmm. Let's take another comment. Uh, let me see. This this was a question. Um, Chumbo says, "How do we market our arts as Cameroonians?" Okay. Hmm. okay. How do we market? Go on, Ted. Go on. You are a promoter. How do, um, exactly. Chumbo, how do we market our arts? Right. We've got good music, but our good music often doesn't leave from the road. You see, we've got really good music, but it often doesn't leave from the road. You see, and how are we supposed to market this? When we host our event as Cameroonians, yeah, we host our little, little birthday party, bone house for year, baby shower for year, da, da, da. Only Cameroonians come to those events. You see, only Cameroonians come to those events and then we play our music and it stays there. You have sometimes maybe a two percent that you know uh, uh, minority that comes from outside. We play our music; it ends there. But now, the way we can market our art is to start holding massive concerts. Massive, exactly. concerts, you understand? Concerts mm -hmm. and the artists and stuff. Once, yeah. Once we start exposing our, our material, guess what? They are going to start calling us on the big stages when they host mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. African event when they call. Artists from all of Africa, including Namibia, they will call mm -hmm. Cameroon. So how wow. come Nigeria host events calling African events and call people from Mozambique to perform? Wow, like like, like the Afro Nation, for example. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Afro so Nation can, has can I, all over the world. Can I just say something in you know um, you know in addition to that? For example, like I've come to realize because I've been struggling for like ten years and. I've realized that, <laughs> yeah, I've, yo, I've realized that I am not going to be, seriously. you understand? I've realized that I'm not going to be accepted in Cameroon. So what do I do from here? It's been 10 years. What do I do? I've been living in the UK for some who do not know. I traveled to the UK 19th of October, 1999. That's a whole long time. You understand? So for all this while, I've come to write, well, hold on a second. There are 12,000 Cameroonians in the UK. Really, why am I trying to go back to Cameroon? Because people are saying that's the base. No, that's not my base. My base is the Cameroonians in, in the, the UK. UK. 12,000 yeah. Cameroonians in the UK. How do I capture these people? I need to do my research to see how I can get to these people. And one of the methods is like Ted is saying, you know, 
continuously organizing those concerts. Another method is that I've realized a lot of Cameroonians in the UK are in Facebook. Get on Facebook and capture the people. And guess what? If they are mentioning Cameroon entertainment industry in the UK, and my name is always included, guess what is going to happen? If Nigerians are calling Davido in London and they want some Cameroonian fans to buy tickets, guess what? They are going to call me because they know that Cameroonians in the UK don't play with me. If you call Rough K, all the Cameroonians in the UK, they go gaga. So that's my foundation. That is my target. And guess what? That's what I've been missing for 10 years. I've yeah. just realized that. Yeah. If they're calling, yeah. um, if they're doing Afro Nation and they're like, look, uh, yeah, there are 12,000 Cameroonians. Maybe we can sell 1,000 tickets to Cameroonians. But how do we do that? We need to go through Rough K. You understand? So that's what they are missing in Cameroon. They don't know that if they integrate with artists like us, artists like Vrizeville in the US, artists like Sue Clovis in Belgium, people who are holding it down for Cameroonians in such jurisdic jurisdiction, sorry, you know, they are going to, they, they, Cameroon is going to be known. If they want to do a big African fest in Belgium, and they know that, oh, hold on a second. Wherever Sue Clovis is performing, Cameroonians will flood that place. Guess yeah. what? They will call Sue Clovis. You understand? So that's what I've just realized after 10, 11 years. So that's what I'm saying. You know, we need to talk with these guys in Cameroon. We need to come to terms that look, we need each other. We in the diaspora, we need you. You also need us because, for example, people are complaining, oh, they are always doing this um, Afro nation in Portugal. They are not calling any Cameroonians. Get what? Guess what? It's because they know that they are not going to sell any tickets to any Cameroonians. How are they going to sell tickets to Cameroonians? It's very simple. It's if we have an artist that Cameroonians will follow anywhere they go. It could be Magasco, it could be the Tenor, it could be the Salatier, could be me, could be the Vrizil. But we need to work together. If I'm in the yeah. UK, yeah. maybe someone like Magasco can reach out to me. It's like, bro, um, how can I, you know, do you know any ways that I can get to the population in the UK? I, I am in the best position to give him advice, but they are not they are not thinking like that. They are only thinking, oh, Masa, I big past that guy. Masa, I meet that guy, then she done. That guy, okay. they get for come for year. Come bow That's down for me. You understand? Yeah. That's the problem. It the moment like you reach that. out to somebody, they think straight away, I'm bigger than that person. Why, why, should, I, mm -hmm. uh, why should I listen to anything he says? You see, that's our problem. You understand, yeah. That's our problem. So it's, it's all about selling tickets. They need to know that if they call this Cameroonian, how many Cameroonians are going to turn up and buy those tickets? Some of those tickets go for 80 pounds. How many Cameroonians, let's be honest with ourselves, would buy tickets worth 80 pounds and go to Portugal? Let's be honest with ourselves. That's what I'm saying. The now, public, this is the yeah. next, let's, let's hear what um, Bole is saying. Bole says the diaspora plays a huge part of why Cameroonian artists are even able to do music. As many people in the diaspora, including myself, have provided financial assistance to those mm -hmm. in the music mm -hmm. industry in Cameroon. As most people back home will not take the chance to spend much money on showbiz in Cameroon. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is just the truth, man. Yeah. So talking about finance, talk talking about finance, right? I'm just going to go, you know, take you back, you know, a bit of um, talk about a bit of myself, you know, historically. So I've been to Cameroon back in 2011 when I recorded Ben Sikin rap with Salatiel. He's actually the one who made the beat. And, um, you know, it was great. And you, they all loved it. And I, would, I was advised to actually go to Cameroon and promote because they felt like, you know, that was like a trend that was going to make it. So I went. I spent thousands of pounds. I went like four or five times. 
you know, I spent a lot of money from the president chop chop, giving them, you know, giving like 600 pounds <laughs> just to one person. You understand? Going to the radios, giving money, going to TV, is giving money. So when some people sit in the diaspora and say that we are not making the right moves, or we are, we are not consistent, it really gets to me because I've experienced this, I've done it all, you name it. I've gotten into contact with the DJs, the promoters, I've been on ground zero, I've visited the, the DJs, the big guys such as um, President Chop Chop, I've been to the Trace TVs, I've spent thousands. If I tell you I've spent over 30,000 pounds, we should be, back then should be about 20 million, that's the truth, believe it or not. So I've done all back that. Then, back, then, but, then, back then, that time, 30,000 pounds is about 29 million. 30, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. So as soon as you leave, they will chuck the shit in the bin mm -hmm. and be like, oh, le voyager, me they go shit on down. You understand? That's the reality. So we spend money on this stuff. If you hit up a producer, sorry to call out names, such as Phil Bill, you understand? Such mm -hmm. as um, DJ Pazzo, they will get, they will tell you 300,000, 400,000. That is fucking ridiculous. Sorry about my French. You reach out to a um, a blogger such as 237 Showbiz, they will tell you, um, uh, I've got like a map, I'll send it to you. And the flipping map is telling you, just for one post, they're going to charge you 35K, which is about 50 pounds. That is fucking ridiculous, right? The, the promotion you're going to do for me for just one flipping post, is it worth 35K? It's not flipping worth 35K. You only have like uh, 30,000 followers on Instagram. But a, a Cameroonian-based artist who come to you, you ask for 5K. Why the hell are you asking for 35K from me? And you're telling me if you're gonna do uh, one week, it's gonna be 250K. Like, I'm, I'm not out here minting money. At the end of the day, we are all working towards a goal. We are all working to make sure the Cameroonian music industry strive, um, thrives out there. Like, you know, our, our counterparts such as Nigeria, Ghana, etc. So we need to work together. You give me something, I give you, I give you something. Do not always, you know, ask me, ask, 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 and you're not giving me shit. You understand? I'm pissed off right now. You know? No, I can understand you. I can understand you, Rob. I can understand you. It's it's really poor when it comes to like <laughs> it, 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 is, it is really poor when it comes to the people who run this blog. Like, for instance, you reach out to a blog. Can you promote this for me? Or oh, an influencer or something? Oh, yes, I will do this. And then mm -hmm. they do their own thing. After you've paid them and given them instruction on what to do, mm -hmm. they do their own thing. Exactly. Like, they, they don't even do it. They post it once and then that's it. You know? Yeah. So Madness. How, how, are you posting, how are you posting a challenge that you're supposed to explain about that you just put a picture on your post and leave it there? You know, how are people supposed to crazy. know about the challenge? How are you crazy. encouraging your followers to go on that and perform and ask them get involved? Exactly. You see, so there's a lot, there's a lot that the industry is just filled with people trying to take from people, and that's all it is. That's all it is. You understand? That's all it is. Because the way yeah. they look at it, the way they look at it is this if I post rough stuff, it's not gonna get me any more followers. You understand? So the kid mm -hmm. has to pay me to post them. But if I post stuff about P Square or post stuff about Samuel Eto, yeah, it's gonna pay me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's gonna pay me. I'm gonna get followers because people want to read about Samuel Eto. People want to read about Mendoza who is dying. So let's post about Mendoza. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's terrible. You know, upon all the money we've spent, or well, I've spent, I'll speak for myself, upon all the countless trips. I've made to Cameroon upon all the thousands and thousands of pounds I've spent upon all the um, emails I've drafted and sent out upon all the pleading I've done all you name it I've done it 
So I don't get it why some people based in the diaspora will sit down and talk about consistency, hard work, and all of that crap. <laughs> you understand? When you yeah, don't it's, know it's things, very annoying because yeah, yeah it's annoying because, because you, I know mm. artists, I know artists in the diaspora that have, I mean, have worked. I mean, they are even more consistent than even some of the artists we have um, back home. Mm -hmm. You understand. So when I hear those kind of talk, I just I just laugh at their ignorance and I just move on. Um, yeah. Okay. So at the Let end of read. the day, uh -huh. okay, go on, go on. Let me read a few comments. We have. Um, let me see. We have. Carlson says they de they determine the demand determines their worth, and then he's then he goes to say <laughs> he was just laughing about the seven million to dance. I think it was Ted who made that comment. I don't know who mm. was asked for yeah. seven million to dance. Mm. Um, then Bole says that this is why it's important for diaspora artists um, not to invest in having someone on the ground locally so that people in Cameroon will not charge people in yo, the diaspora yo, social yo. services. Yo, yo, this yo. I've just, all, yeah. this is all I've just said it yeah. Since all man for diaspora get money. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly what I've, we're saying. Listen, yeah. I've just come to realization we don't need anything. See, listen, yeah. Like I've said earlier, my base mm -hmm. is the UK. It's taken me 10 years, but I'm glad I've realized my base in the UK, I don't care. At the moment, I don't even care about the Cameroon. I don't care about some people say you need to go international. My yeah. objective is to get every Cameroonian, maybe not every, because not everyone is going to like your stuff, but at least most Cameroonians in the UK to celebrate me to, 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 to a certain point that when I, I do a show, when they hear that Rough K is here, I know no, I'm guaranteed at least 1,000 people. Exactly. That is my base. There are Cameroonians in the UK, and I need to take advantage of that. Yeah. Let's see. Um, very, what, very correct. Let's <clears throat> see. Um, um, wait. What did, let, did we take what? Um, yeah, okay. We talked about that. Let's see. Um, Carlson says it's a general concept we have in Cameroon. When we hear someone is from the diaspora, we think the person is swim inside money. Exactly. Very correct. Very correct. Exactly. Then um, Franklin's Diane says um, we need to stop inviting these artists from. It's honestly, it's annoying. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. need to stop yeah. inviting Simple. these artists from Cameroon Simple. to perform abroad. Let's to be do honest. it ourselves. We yes, have to do it yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Because they because they don't they don't value the opportunity you're giving. Hey, come exactly. on! Exactly. They are trying to transport you internationally. You should be you should be happy that you're even exactly. having that opportunity to be exactly. on that platform. It's wow. like because mm -hmm. because to be honest, even you are not even you are not needed because I've seen I've gone to events that I've gone to events that they say um, petit pays is coming. And when I see the population at that event, I'm like, excuse me, this is Peti Peyi were crying out loud, mm, right? Yeah, you and, understand. And then the, the event promoter that brought Peti Peyi, she's crying because she goes and takes a big haul and everything, what haul what 6,000 pounds and everything. And then mm. you cannot even make tickets of even 2,000 pounds because people You're don't even why are, you, why are you even calling so 2,000? Talk even... of 800. Oh my Talk God. Talk of 800. At the end of the day, I've studied these people in the UK. I don't know about US and all of that. These people will turn up just because there's a party. It's not because Magasco That's or cool. Salatiel no. is coming. You feel no. me? They, they will just turn up because there's a party. They just want to go and have a good time. Yeah, they're not over crazy you about know? those things. Like, you know, exactly. everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. They're not too crazy about those things. It's a whole different ball game in the diaspora because, especially in the UK, because everybody is so busy. Everybody is busy. People have things to do. People have family, job, everything. Everyone is busy. So, it's not like they are crazy about those those things. They are not. Which is why, 
which is why, if you've noticed, the last three Cameroonian shows that supposedly were good shows were all linked. They were all cross shows, crossover shows with artists from different countries. You understand? Yeah. And the question now is, the Cameroonians who came to that show, did they, did they even come for the artists from Cameroon or did they come for the other artists? <laughs> you see? Mm. You, you understand? That, 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 yeah. Mr. Leo, Mr. Leo and Singular, concert, hall, pack. You understand? At the end of the day, the good thing was, when Mr. Leo performed on stage, he was so good that everybody forgot that Singular had to perform. You understand? Yeah. Everybody yeah. forgot. And then about quarter to five, Singular rocks up on stage when everybody had forgotten that Singular was also on the lineup. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which which is which I, I, I was really impressed because Leo took the show away. You understand? Mm -hmm. He took the show away. Okay, Daphne and Kerosene. You ask yourself the question again, did they go there for Daphne or did they actually come for Kerosene? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, because the show was packed. You see, but did they come for Daphne or did they come for Kerosene? Because if you took Daphne and went to Birmingham and did a show for Daphne alone in Birmingham, how many people would have turned up? Mm -hmm. You see, so it's like that's the part that we face, which is really hard because our industry needs to grow. But in as much as I see it as my responsibility to promote and make, you know, for like keep pushing the industry from my end, I believe. The people back home, the artists themselves, really, and their artist managers, record label owners, have to understand that, listen, we need to meet these people halfway. Because it's not just themselves they are promoting. It is us, mm -hmm. it is the culture. We are doing it, like Panchak says, for the culture. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm not here, I'm not a bank or somebody. And, to come and, and you know what, you, you, know, you, you know the mistake, I you, you know what I think is another problem is that some of them think that some of them think that we are doing these things we are doing because we want to make money out of it mm -hmm. or we are looking for huge sums of money they oh, feel no. to, which cannot give they fail to understand that we are doing these things just out of passion and and mm -hmm. out of love for for the industry and for the mm -hmm. culture just that we want to see it grow so Thank for you. them, the thing that Nora they want Brown. to make huge Nora sums of Brown. money, so they come with this, they are at some kind of ridiculous um, terms and conditions, and you just look at it and you just say, please, just just get out, just get out. Yo, yo, no. Nora Brown, um, my balance sheet, right, is counting at 33K <laughs> at the moment. I've got it all. I've got all the records. You, you do the, you know, you convert it. And tell me how much that is. 33k is let me tell you that was then no, not even now, Seth. <laughs> you wise. Me tell you 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On that point, on that point you made about them thinking that we are making sums and sums of money when they come here. I don't know. I don't think because for instance, 25 I, million I, rough k. Exactly. That's how much I've put in. Apart from that, the time and all of that. And mind you, I have a family here, wife, kids, I have to take care of. And I have a family back home I have to take care of. But I'm putting, I'm still making that sacrifice and I'm still not being appreciated. And some will say you're not being appreciated because you're not putting yourself out there. Oh, mm -hmm. no, you're wrong. I am putting myself out there because I am approaching the main um, the main spots or whatever I want to call it, the people. I am approaching them. I am proposing. I am sometimes even pleading and I am paying. Oh, that 25 million you've just said, you've just converted, has been going towards, um, you know, that. You, you understand? It's not like uh, it's it's not like we are trying to make money. It's because we have the passion, and and believe you me, the the the, the input um, I have made uh, into the industry have had some sort of impact. Whether you like it or not, some Cameroonian artists based in Cameroon have been influenced influenced by me. You know, 
And they, you've got the likes of Vrizzyville, who has also been in the game for some time. Vrizzyville, Big Ops is based in the USA. You've got Sue Clovis in, in Belgium. You've got Miss Bess in, in Holland, who is currently in, in, um, in Canada. <laughs> We've all been putting in so much into this. But Guys, at the end of the... We need to really, uh -huh. the comments are getting too much. We need to, okay, um, people okay, are, go we need to crack on. Um, yeah. Now, let's get what Big Bora said. Big Bora said, you guys are speaking the factual truth. A possible solution is for artists in the diaspora to double check the media, the contact for promo or premiering of their songs. You can start from regional level, attack mm -hmm. local stations in Boya, Kumba, Bamenda, Limbe, then mm -hmm. move steadily to the main platform. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Then um, I think <laughs> Diane is so pissed off. She keeps, she just keeps going on like, Master, let this artist stay in Cameroon. Some of them think they have already made it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's for the culture, Diane. For the culture. You you will see you will see an artist that mm -hmm. you don't even they have not even produced even more than two or three songs. You want to. You want to contact them, they're telling you're calling, you're calling two you're million. Calling, anyhow. You're calling them, they're telling you one you know. million, or, and then you're wondering, hello, anyways. Do you know how many free shows Davido did in London? Do you know how many? Jo just to get that opportunity to fly to London. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have programs that educate Cameroonian promotion of arts? Because I feel like this is an issue. We have we have really great talent in the industry, but the marketing and promotion is uh, meh. That, that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, mm -hmm. Let's take another comment. Well, well, on that marketing and promoting, on that mm -hmm. marketing and promoting, Juice, Juice Music is um, a started doing some videos to educate mm -hmm. people in the marketing on YouTube and promoting and their that, songs. Yeah, yeah so... Check him out, Juice Music on um, Instagram. Okay, then we have um, Carlson says to me, I think that diaspora should have someone on ground to handle, to handle their distribution in Cameroon. Yeah, that, yeah. Then um, he said, Nora Brandos, your bars are taking long. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. How that says? <laughs> it's uh, his and his. Um, He's, he's in the movie industry and he does some charity work too in Cameroon, Carlson. Then Big Bora also say, also artists in the diaspora should network from their different countries and try to interconnect on events. Network to mm -hmm. is network to, to discover multi-talented experts in the showbiz domain like producers, video directors and realize projects in synergy and jointly mm -hmm. push projects of such. It might be slow, but it will penetrate home too as remittance mm -hmm. control number reaches home from the diaspora. Child. Knowledge, yeah, knowledge. Big God, God. 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 <laughs> knowledge, oh, that, that knowledge, grammar. Knowledge. Big Bora, that grammar, you go, you go break and down because one for the know understand that grammar. <laughs> Big Bora, Bora man. Thank you. Thank Big you Bora so man. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Um, we're actually working on that now. We have now. Uh, we put in, we're getting everybody together. Everybody. Yeah, we got, we got, together. yeah, yeah, we got you that. Know, we got that all the in artists, the pipeline. The music, the movie the, uh, directors, producers. We're getting everybody together. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, we are tired of waiting for someone to invite us to play on their field. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're going to use our own field and start playing. Maybe yeah. when they say, I think, match don't hurt for our feet. They will go in and say, okay, move, yeah. match, move. You play. understand? More, yeah. more, more, more yeah. integrate. Yeah. 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 The man says, um, Chumbo saying exactly what got good talent, but we don't hear our Cameroonian music out there or see our Cameroonian artists. Exactly. Why is it's that? Exactly That's the problem. Chumbo because highly, they are not. Go, yeah, yeah, they're not go. willing. Yes, it's highly yes. down to the artists themselves. They're not so, willing to um, their art. She says, I agree with Ted. Um, she says, you're right, Rob K. You are making a lot of sense, bro. That's a rough key. I think when we're talking about in the, in the diaspora and trying to get your base here. Yeah. Then um, let me see what this one is because let's so that we'll go to the last comment and they'll know that we are continuing the show. 
um, we need to, long like us, and we need to see them being present in such conversations and sharing their own opinions for that bridge between the diaspora mm -hmm. and Cameroon. So yes, yes, I this agree is, with that. We, we need someone. This, this is part one of mm -hmm. this show. We are introducing the topic. And yeah, we'll be back yeah. again. Mm -hmm. We'll be back again next time with um yeah yeah with two with, with people with, now from Cameroon from Cam uh, yeah from yes, the other from side from Ground Zero yeah. from the other side. Mm -hmm. So 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 we are just introducing mm -hmm. this topic because it's a broad topic that we really need to break the coconut, and mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a cause for concern. <laughs> Diane say rough. <laughs> I know Rob K is on fire tonight. <laughs> the guy needs. Well, I've been on fire for 10 years. <laughs> That's how long it's been burning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, you know, you see why, dear bear. Bro, look at. Rob K is a silver fox of the industry. You know, you see why, dear bear. Yeah, you know. Oh my God, <laughs> Chombo, but they believe they are too big for their boots. May God open their eye. Yeah. It's true. They, they think they have, they have arrived already. Mm -hmm. um, then let's see what Breezyville says. He said, from experience and observations, most Cameroonians in the diaspora don't support the artists based in the diaspora. They show more love to the artists back home and forget the ones that are around them. I think we have to speak to the people here in the diaspora as well. They have to step up their game in supporting artists around them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very true. That is Very, true. Your own. Very that is true. true. Very that true. Very true. Yeah. Support your own initiative that we're trying mm -hmm. to promote. Mm -hmm. You understand? And yeah. 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 Then we have um, this other one from Bole. He said, "Okay, she's giving an example. She says, so I attended. I attended the Cameroon." music festival in 2018 in washington dc which had minx magasco stanley enno mr Liu, brisville and some other artists and it was amazing the concert space was packed and fans seemed to be super pumped up so i don't think artists from cameroon with artists in diaspora can pull a crowd exactly out if you have the right mix of artists Mm -hmm. People screamed when each artist came on stage. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was at a Jay Z concert. This made me okay. believe that now we can have now. we can have a big show. Okay, mm -hmm. now you see this here. This was the show that Ebanga organized in 2018. Yeah. Okay. Since you Ebanga organized that show, who else has done something similar? No one. You understand? Mm -hmm. Which means if a banger does not step up and do it again, nobody will do it. Yeah, it will die out. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So these people were attend this show. If you call them for UK today, tell me they can't attend a similar show or do a similar thing, you'll hear price the way they will charge you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll hear the price the way they will charge you. you, you yeah, you I me? think um I think uh they are like um I don't know how a banger did it, but I think she's like personal friends with um, some of those names mentioned. Um, I don't know how she did it, but big ups to a bangado. She did a great job. Exactly. But uh, now they're not, yeah. they're not appreciating that fact. That, mm -hmm. that right there, Nora, is a perfect example, you understand, of mm -hmm. how white diaspora or the people who are making the effort are important in the diaspora. Because a banga did that for them. Yeah? Since a banga stopped doing that for the last three years, where are they now? Who don't do it for them? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody. You understand? Nobody. Okay. Then Bole says again that um thank you. The amount of money I invested both financially and via the online activities I have done in the entertainment or music industry could have bought me a nice a nice piece of land in Cameroon. Definitely. I have never gained anything from artists or entertainers back home. They all gain from me. So I now, see. so now you must prove yourself before I spend another dime. A dime and of you must, and you. you must be very Sam, hungry. Is Sam, that, take, take one you, charge for day for my be very hungry, And you must be very hungry for success. No more careless spending. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sister Mbole. That is exactly when I came back from, from Cameroon. That is exactly what I was discussing with um with um Rough K and Ted Franklin's. 
um, when I when I did the show in Bamenda and then I came back and then I came back, it was it was a show that actually it was it was like a big when I mean a big loss. It was not there was nothing like gaining there. It was a show to um, it was instead the artists that gained something because they had a platform to perform and everything. But if I want to look at money wise and stuff, I had no penny back. I mean, no, mm -hmm. franc, not even one franc CFA back. No, I had mm -hmm. nothing of that sort. You understand? But I mean, some of the artists were already complaining, like they didn't have much pay and all those kind of things. Meanwhile, the event did not even give anything. You see what I mean? They don't. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that when these platforms have been created these platforms for them to use it's it's really a privilege you know mm -hmm. it's a privilege for them as well to to showcase their talents and all those things because at the end of the day we are not we are not really getting anything from this we are mm -hmm. not the time has not even come yet not you at know, all. Everybody mm -hmm. is you're struggling to just build the industry. You're struggling. You're you're managing to get everybody integrated. You're managing to do that. And some people sit there and just think it's milk and honey, or just sit there and mm -hmm. think that you know everything is that easy. You understand? So it's I, I agree with um, um Bole because I I had just told myself that you know it's it's gonna be a it's going to be a rough ride and it's going to be straight to the point that I need to see, you know, people's worth that you are worth it. You, you mm. really want to succeed. I need to see your strife. I need to see, I need to see that zeal that, Hey, I want to get there. I want to do this thing. You understand? I mm. put me there. I want, you know, because if, if, they you, you, they don't show that striving for success you don't see that energy that they really mm. want to do this you know some of them will just be joking around and there is no time for joking around anymore mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is no time for it you know everybody has to be serious in this in in this in, in this business in this game everybody mm. has to be serious if you want to joke around hey it's it's up to you. It's your own. I mean, it's your own uh, uh, cup of tea. If you want to joke around, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. So that's big ups to Mbole for that. Mm -hmm. um, Do we have any more? Um, the Chumbo says um, she would like to be so Rofko, You can get in touch. She would love to be added to the Diaspora Network. Where's Where's um, Chumbo based? At? I don't even know. Chumba, Chumba, um, where are you based? Um, Bole says you all of you are speaking sense. Thank you. Um, that all the guests are speaking sense. Thank you, thank you, Bole. Thank you. Um, I Adele Clarice, Chumbe Adele Clarice disappeared for a while. And she said, I'm so sorry. What did she? She said, I'm so sorry my phone fell and I was driving on the highway, so I probably uh, missed the whole show. Thanks for this, Nora Brown. You look so beautiful. You are not missed, though. The show is still hot. <laughs> I beg, stay well, there. Still, pack, the show um, is still hot, though. I just want to go read Go for a hard comments. shoulder. Go for a hard shoulder. I don't know how I call him for a task. But for you, the <laughs> call on hard shoulder. Just pull up. Now, let me see who is this. He said, um, <laughs> greetings to everyone, and I'm located in the United States, and I salute cute little pit bulls, road all damn. around the world. But our main branch is located, and I've transported... What was this? That will be that um, now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that one will be too related to you. You <laughs> 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 must say, fear that ten year long fire. <laughs> you, you understand okay now, bro? Okay with it, ten years. <laughs> you understand, bro? Salatia um, knows, yeah. Ma tell um, my bit of story before you continue, right? Okay. Like I said earlier, came to this country just the end of 1999, early 2000s. Those were times when African music we used to be embarrassed. You understand to play African music. I used to sit on a bus, right upstairs, 
because I used to like upstairs. I just came from Kumba. I was still rough, you know, without <laughs> fire in me. I would listen to Petit P because I see and say, na music way, they know one catcher. I would turn them low, you understand? So I'll put it down really low with my Walkman. And somehow a guy will still notice that I'm listening to African music. So I'll get a guy who will come and tap on my shoulders. He'll be like, bro, what the fuck are you listening to? Are you listening to African music? So that's how, that's how much I've been holding it down for Cameroon. Since from the days when we used to be embarrassed to identify ourselves with being Africans. In those days, when, when a girl asks you, where are you from? You either say, me from Jamaica or I'm from the United States. You understand? We used to be embarrassed to say we are from Africa, but I was holding it down there for Cameroon. Up to date, I'm still holding it down. You know, to come and realize that, you know, the people on Ground Zero are not even seeing that. Are not even recognizing that these guys out there are actually holding it down for us. It it nah, it's, uh, it puts me off. They don't they don't um they don't appreciate that fact, you, you, know, you know. Which is why we are here. They don't they don't appreciate that fact. To be fair, for instance, um, like like I told you, Nora, they like to um, they like a name. You see, Cameroonians <laughs> like name dropping, the big name associating with big names and stuff. I'll give you a perfect example, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's um a young lady who's in London, who sings, but I think she does drill music. Yeah? Okay, I know her, I know her. I think I've reached out to her, actually. We got a collab, no, actually. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, Rob. I don't think it's that very person. I don't know if it's that person. It, it's this her, it's, she's like 17 or 18. Yeah, she just right. turned 19, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one, music. I know. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I saw a post, the first time I ever saw her was... um. Two three seven show this show be posted her, yeah, and I thought to I myself, okay, I wonder how much this girl has paid for you to post her. Nothing, zero. I wonder. You understand? This is mm -hmm. somebody who probably is not even associating themselves, saying I'm Cameroonian or I make Cameroonian. not at all. Nothing. The girl speak. The girl speaks with the in it. Yeah, you understand, bro? Proper, What's going on? Proper, that kind of stuff. A proper Londoner. No, a you proper, understand. Proper yeah. Londoner. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. okay, but two three seven show be posted this girl, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, but if I go and ask two three seven show be to post Rob K who has released new music, they'll, they'll tell 250k, to ask you for 250 pounds or 300 pounds for one week to post one one time a week. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I just said that's why Cameroonians are so like, oh, we had like the name, like. So why do you it's, run it's up that It's about people? name. It's about name. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so now you have the boy. I said, Nora, you know that Ground Zero as well. Eh? Anyway, he said it's a great show, and trust me, the guests are doing some honest and objective presentation of the reality. Thank you, boys. I knew you guys. I knew you guys will. Wow, well, my audience. big Bora man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ali. Big Bora Ali. man. I I remember Big Bora man. I don't know who 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 here in the house remembers Bahood Records. Big Bahood Bora Records. man is behind that. You yeah, understand? Big yeah, Big Bora man, Bahood Records. Yeah, the pioneers, bro. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll try to get one of. One of those their songs was worthy. I'll try to get it out. <laughs> Let's see. We have um Mbole says, well, let me see. She says, Chumbon, your comments are giving. Yeah, she's really entertaining on the comment section. Um by the way. Okay, now Rough K and um and Teddy, um, expansion mm. a bit more because a lot of people are asking, maybe they want to join you guys because okay, you guys okay. keep talking about the diaspora network. I know Rough K, you are working on something, um, UK something. I don't know how are you calling it. Okay, um, yeah. So so basically so, we've so got they, two like, groups. what is what, what is the diaspora so, network about? How can they join? Okay, okay, yeah, so we'll go, she's I'll in, speak she's in uh, Ohio. Yeah, Chumbo so I'll speak and then 
I'll speak and then Ted will speak. So we've got okay. uh, we've actually got two groups. We've got Kame nice. UK. We've got Kame UK Entertainment, which is um we've got personalities in the entertainment industry. We've got DJs, we've got promoters, artists, fashion designers, whatever. We've got them together. And we are just trying to um put the um Cameroon music industry push it forward basically abroad and then we've got the Kame artist in diaspora which is kind of the same thing we've got artists we've got promoters DJs we are still building on that but the main objective of that group is basically like Ted Franklin touched earlier since they don't want us to play in their playing ground we are going to use the playing ground we have, which is in the diaspora. We are going to utilize on that and we're going to explore. Yeah, basically. So Ted Franklin, if you... Yeah, yeah um, we've got the first group on there is uh, the Kame UK Entertainment. So when we say diaspora, really, um, for the first, uh, first things first, we started to target the UK because this is our own playing field. So we started to target the UK first. So we came up with Kame UK Entertainment. And this Kame UK Entertainment was um, an idea born from something similar to the 8020, which is bouncing around right now, you see, because we were getting our DJs together to ask them, why is it that, you know, you guys don't do your part to push our music as far as we, we think it should go? You see, mm -hmm. and then we sat down mm -hmm. with DJs and they told us that this is why, this is why, this is why. They told us the reasons why they don't they don't push Cameroon music that far is because Cameroonian consumers don't receive the music as much. You see, so we then now came together. We have DJs in the group. We have an art. We have artists in the group. We have promoters. We have record label owners. So we have big players in the entertainment industry in the UK in the Kamer UK entertainment for us to forward to well for the goal carry on pushing for our music really our entertainment to take its rightful place in you know in, in this market you see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the Kame artist in the diaspora right now we've got a few artists from america we've got belgium we've got um um uk we've got Canada. a few artists from Iran, you see and in mm -hmm. there we have producers um directors video directors we have a lot of people in there we have a lot of quality in that group and what we are doing is like i mentioned earlier we want to expand our playing field in the diaspora you understand so for instance now instead of going to fish out an artist from cameroon and bring him over to the uk which is gonna cost you a fortune how about we just do our shows in the uk with uk artists we call artists from belgium we call artists from france we call artists from america Getting an artist from America to the UK is way easier than getting an artist from Cameroon to the mm -hmm. UK. Exactly. You understand? So we want to use all our diaspora tools to, 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 to the effect that they should be used. Mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. Because I think the moment we start increasing our footprint and our presence, mm -hmm. they will have no choice but to recognize but to us. join the bandwagon. Yeah. yeah. They will have no choice but to follow and to, to join us saying these people are doing something out there I would like to be a part of that thing, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So instead of going back and you know arguing with people Spen about like, spending thirty three k and all of that stuff, exactly. You know, so we spend it here. A lot of Cameroonians outside of Cameroon in the U in Europe, in America, in Asia, we have a lot of Cameroonians all over. So instead of always trying to go back to Cameroon and give them a hassle, now nah, we're gonna reach out. We're gonna try reach out to the Cameroonians, especially in Europe. You understand? Especially in Europe. We reach out to the Cameroonians in Europe. We have so many good artists out here. We have Rough K, we have Master Robinson, we have Shuklovi, we have Jews, we have uh, Valentine Artie, we have Tristy uh, Banda. We have, we have Adele, Adele Claris. Claris. Yeah. We, there's so many artists out here. So, so many artists. You see? So, there's no point every time going to hassle people from Cameroon and bring them out here. No. How about we start taking our art from the diaspora back to Cameroon to go and perform in show? You understand? That way, we are forcing our essence on them. So, 
that's what the, our Jakura Connect network is all about. So for those who are interested, please, if you have artists, if you have artists, directors, and from different countries, and you're in the diaspora, and we are talking diaspora, even people in Nigeria, that's diaspora. That's diaspora, yeah. Even people, yeah, Cameroonians yeah. who are singing and doing jobs in Nigeria, that is also the diaspora. diaspora Don't think we are limiting yeah. only to Europe. It's not only to mm -hmm. Europe. It's not only to America. It's for everybody who is out of Cameroon trying to make mm -hmm. it in the entertainment mm -hmm. industry. Yeah. So yeah. we are open for collaborations. We are open for ideas on how we can do stuff together. You see, mm -hmm. so please, Richard, Richard, don't be shy. We are here mm -hmm. to do our part in the promotion, whether they like them or yeah. not. They will hear our name. <laughs> so, yeah, so Ted, I was just going to touch on that point. Um, the other day, I saw a post from 237 Showbiz. I'm sorry, 237 Showbiz has come up a lot. Um, so basically, I saw a post and it talked about uh, Magasco and um, Colela Petit are the only Cameroon songs that have hit a million and more streams on Spotify. And I'm like, hold on a minute. That's wrong. We've got an artist called Xenia. I don't know if people know her here. Mm -hmm. Xenia. We've got Xenia. Yeah. Who's got 1.6 million. But because Xenia is not based in, in Cameroon, Cameroon, she's diaspora, she's completely ignored. So I took that post very personal and it annoyed me. That is a perfect example of the negligence of diaspora. Yeah. yeah they, they so don't, that, they, they, yeah. they don't mm -hmm. value they don't value Cameroonian artists who are not um, Cameroon based, which is mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is yeah. wrong. And they fail to hold, they fail to realize that is the diaspora which is even holding the industry. Because if you want to look at most of the record labels that have these artists, they mm -hmm. are all owned by diasporans. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like Vreezy like View, like View said, like Vreezy yeah. View said, we are next door to these people, but they are looking past us and going into Cameroon. Vreezy View said it all. You know, they, they, they are looking past us, basically, the, the, the record labels and the promoters based abroad, they are right next door to us, but they are looking past us. That, that, also, um, that's, that also is an issue. But with that, Rough K, with that, in, in mm -hmm. my opinion, I don't know, you know, for instance now, like, mm -hmm. like, we, we also mentioned that we, in the diaspora, we've got bills to pay. You understand? Yeah, yeah. We've got yeah. bills to pay, we've got families to feed. Imagine mm -hmm. now a record label in the UK signing you Bro, it's got to be proper. You understand? Yeah, but, but um, Ted, Teddy, let me, let me tell you something. If a record label signs me right, that I don't need to, I don't need to do extra time because I'm into finance, right? Sometimes I have to do overtime or overproduction, we call it in finance. Basically, I, I, I will say hell to that. I'm not going to do that. So that will give me more time to invest in the music. If a record label signs me, I know that I don't have to spend all the money I've spent. So guess what? I don't have to pick up these extra hours and stuff. Or I can even take a six-month holiday and, 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 and put into this. You understand? It's all about money. But if you're, if you're, if you're the one who's, um, who's um, investing in it all by yourself, Obviously, that means you need to work extra hours, which means less time being invested in the music. It makes sense. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. I understand that. You understand? I completely understand that, you see. Which is, um, well, because for you, for instance, you've just given mm -hmm. your point of view and because you're relating it to yourself and what you do, you see. Mm -hmm. So some people are thinking, I'd rather go get somebody in Cameroon that can pay him 50000 You understand? And then mm -hmm. it, will not, it, will not, it will not touch my pocket. It will not stress yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get. Let, mm -hmm. me, let, me, let me take, um, Mbole says, so what do we do now to move forward? Do we encourage 237 back home to come abroad to perform only after a, an extensive body work? Or do we have 237 diaspora artists 
go to Cameroon and wow the crowd there after an extensive amount of work here, or should each just stay in their own respective places and perform there? I, I think we should just stay for that for now. <laughs> for now, though. Well, okay. Roque says, Roque says that you stay for now. I, me as a promoter, as Rainmakers Entertainment, I think the <laughs> pinnacle of this will be for these two things to cross. You understand? For artists to come here and perform and for our artists here to go there and perform as well. You see, for me, that would be a goal as a promoter for me. That would be my, my top priority. Top priority for me would be getting artists from abroad to go perform back home and getting artists from back home to go perform abroad. That would be my priority, you understand? As well as focusing on the diaspora, getting the diaspora to get their names out there. Feel, you, you know, saturate people with their presence, you know, mm -hmm. get people, get their content out there. So that, because mm -hmm. the only way for them to get called back for shows back home would be either me organizing a show back home or they impress, like, doing it to the part where somebody thinks, these people have got so much. Why have we been neglecting them for so long? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need to work hard in both ends. They yeah. in Cameroon need to work hard to come out here. We need to work hard to take content back there as well. So that's mm -hmm. how I look at mm -hmm. it as a promoter. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Bole says, I was always proud to say I'm African and I spent most of my life abroad. Yeah, um, the, same, then, the same as me. Um, Mr. Mr. Juice. Mr. Juice says, I believe I have decoded so much lately that I am blown off my socks about targeting people in diaspora. But I'm going to hold back on that info before sharing to everyone. When I can do my validation, then I will start reaching out to artists in the diaspora. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's, that's the problem, you see. Because Juice doesn't have a big name, people don't take him seriously. <laughs> So, uh, Chumbo, Chumbo was asking, how do we promote and market? This is Juice. Juice has got that key to that door. Juice is the one who is going to start doing videos and educating our artists on how to market themselves and do promotion, especially online as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, then we have, um, what, what did she say? Chumbo saying, um, Bole Ekana, I believe the next step can only be taken once representatives from both sides come to the drawing board and agree mm -hmm. on the benefits of working together. Together, working yeah. together promotes Cameroon in general. It has mm -hmm. no negatives. We just need to see beyond the challenges either side is experiencing and decide to come together. Chai, say knowledge. knowledge. Good one, bro. Good one. Good I one. know, right? Good one. Good one. Um, our next show will try to see those on ground zero. So, um, so Ralph K and Ted, you guys will give me um, suggestions on who on ground zero you think should get on this show. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll try to see at intervals as well to get one or two, um, one or two bloggers to, to, to step in at one point during the live video. Um, mm -hmm. to share their own opinions on 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 why the diasporan artists are not really being integrated in their blogs. Okay. Um, let's see the That's next comment. Why we, have, why we have everybody on. I would just like to say you guys can catch me and Rob K tomorrow on Instagram. We are going to be talking about a similar topic with other diasporan artists. So catch us live on my page, Rainmakers Ends on Instagram. We'll be talking about the diaspora issue, but this time with more diaspora artists. So please, if you're on Instagram, go follow Rainmakers Entertainment and I'll go and get a notification when we live. Okay, this is um, Big Boran. He says, Rough K, um, Rough K, um, Rough Kumba Boy don't why. And to be honest, he deserves a spotlight more than he gets. I remember Ben Skin Rap. When I was too strong behind the mic, making waves as who fame too, very few persons will acknowledge the role I played in this trend of pigeon music exactly. and rap in our milieu because we created and set the trend. Exactly. We have a track record of good music, you know, 
but this new mentality will come back strong past tortoise. <laughs> Don't yeah, that's me. very true. That's that's a big Bora man knows. Listen here, we've got the likes of um Steve's Leo. I think he runs um Next Dim Empire. I don't know if you guys know about Next Dim Empire. These were the people who single handedly promoted Stanley Eno and all these people, but they are not getting the credits deserve. You understand? And it mm -hmm. can be annoying, even though some people will say um some of whom are the other few entitled. What the hell by what the hell do you mean by some of whom are the other few entitled? Give me the credit I deserve. That's all. You know, big Borama. I remember back in the days of Bahud, Bahud Records. Yeah, A lot Bahud of people Records. may not may not know. You know, Bahud Records. Um, and that their famous song. They had one of these. They are famous songs like that. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for it later. I'm gonna look for it later. Yeah. So yeah. um. Yeah. That, so there's been some um. There's been some nice uh comments and some nice suggestions which um we are going to um, take on board um i think it's a and great then, you idea know, okay to... let me tell you the surprise i'm gonna be in the absence of in the absence of um mike jemaya uh -huh. i've just decided to bring in big bora man in this oh, conversation blah, blah, oh. blah, yeah. bring in big bora <laughs> 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 so guys Let's get Big Bora Man because I saw yeah, he had yeah. a lot to say. So let me bring it on um, in the absence of Michael because Michael has said we should excuse him for today. I think he's caught up in some family stuff right now. Okay, okay. Um, some emergency with the family so he cannot join us. And they are traveling. I think he's about to make an eight-hour drive or something. So, yeah. So that, 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 yeah, that is Big Bora man. <laughs> he has been saying a lot. Yeah. He's been saying a lot at the background. So I just said, I said, okay, are you? Do you? Would you like to join the show? And he said, okay, no, no troubles. So all yes, right, we have right. a Big Bora. I think, I think now he'll be able to give all that his experience because I know he's been, he's been, he's been a long time in this showbiz game. Yeah, yeah. So I think he has a good track record to be able to say the. The, the issues which are plaguing 237 mm -hmm. showbiz mm -hmm. in regards to diaspora um, arts and culture as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, um, before Big Bora um, um, speaks, let's just do the last. Let me just read a few last comments. We'll not expand it much, mm -hmm. um, just so that we, we get on page. Um, this is. This is a blog at Showbiz Compound. Oh, mommy, I'm arriving late. Update me. Okay. Then um, this is Chumbo say, Oh, wow. I had no idea Big Bora Mamba. Hood Records gave so much support to my brother, Savji Damji, when he relocated from Kenya to Cameroon and just started in Cameroon hip hop scene. Always grateful to them. Oh, yes. Now you see Big Bora Man. He's on screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the legend, legend. <laughs> um, we have then um, the hot gem says they like our discussion. Then um, showbiz compound says rainmakers boss, you are doing a great job. I follow you twenty four on four, twenty four on twenty four. Thank you, Savji is one hell of a talent. I enjoy his. Ah, yeah, he's very good. Um, we have. Are there any bloggers? That's Hot Gem says. Are there any bloggers and media outlets, um, in the group that's in your? No, not, not yet. yet. Not we yet. Have any yet. Please okay, come, yet. come on board. Come on board. <laughs> so we can get the Hot Gem right. <laughs> Please, we can. We would love to have them on. Then we have um, Longla Carlson says, uh, says thanks so much. He makes so he makes me so much proud. It's true him that I was exposed to the Cameroonian industry. That, so that's that's, that's big, big Yep. Um, 
Then Hot Jam says, if it makes you feel better, even two, three, seven bloggers in the diaspora are snubbed by bloggers in Cameroon, even though we talk about Cameroon the same and more than many of them. If, if it makes you true. feel better. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like they don't want to accept anything coming from abroad. Exactly. Simple it's, as. It's funny, though. Simple as. It's funny. You know what I think? <laughs> it's like it's like Bola is already waiting to hear what Big Bora Man will say. So yeah, me, um, me Big Bora Man. Big Bora, we, I, Baba, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother to read Big Bora's, but let me just read Big Bora's. That's the last comment. Um, somebody showbiz compenses. Uh, Bandong is one of the talents out here. The guy is very good. Then Big Bora said. Seriously, rough K don't wait if I remember yeah, you've, read you've read that, you've read that already. You've read that yeah, already. I read that it's as it's as if the same comment repeated itself. Um then yeah, Bolle says I can already something. then Bolle says I can already tell that's the last comment, then we'll crack on. I can already tell that big Bora man will make me laugh. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 guys. Um, since we have a new guest that has just joined our show, um, we would like to give him the floor before we crack on this conversation. Let's at least give Big Bora Man a shout out and then let's give him the floor to um formally introduce himself to you guys. Let him tell you guys who he is, um, his role in the 237 showbiz industry. Yeah, so over to you, Big Bora Man. Um, I think the audience are listening. All right. Uh, thanks, Nora, for this opportunity. And I want to salute all the panelists. You guys have been doing so well. Uh, the hardly follow life continuously like the way I don't want to be. And trust me, it's because it's worth it. I want mm -hmm. to say to the extent that I was added onto this life, I've been enjoying every bit of it because it is very objective and honest. Mm -hmm. very few times we have such discussions mm -hmm. because the new trend for showbiz for 237 now na, na, na just really confuse the audience and people the way that they dream for grow with so much toxic lies mm -hmm. so when I see a platform like this where honesty they take the lead man I was, I was itchy and I was eager that's why I've been there from all through listening every bit, and I want to say kudos to the boss of Rainmakers and Ralph K. Kumba Boy. And formally, I'm Big Bora. I'm Big Bora. I'm the director of Baut Studios and Baut Records of uh, Bakwa Bamenda. And I've been in this game for as long as you can imagine, you know. You know, and 2005, I was out there. I was out there. Mm -hmm. People will come and fight for title for Boko King, Boko this, Afro Jang, this, this, and that. Man, I did Akuma in 2005. That was pure Afro, first of its kind. And a <laughs> lot of Boko inside all of those stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Now, which money be attributed to those titles except for just the great chaos and confusion left and right? That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's the question I always ask myself. Mm -hmm. And now... What you guys have said the whole of this evening makes a lot of sense to me, and it's it's a worry that has always been in my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm asking myself that Rough King, this was one person I met with a strong heat, and I'll be very honest, as all of you guys have been honest. Where is this guy? I always ask myself, and honestly, mm -hmm. when 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 Blanche Bailey popped out. I saw him and then he disappeared again. I was, where is this guy? Um, I had one of my guy uh, depressed. Depressed is now based in, in, in the US, but he was in UK at some point in time. I used to see you guys together. Alota, Alota, yeah, yeah. Alota. Yeah. Alota is my boy, you understand? Yeah. So yeah, I asked him, but at one point I even asked him, said, pa, this thing, it, 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 has, it, it get the way we did. And so we'll not be really go on, on top of the discussion more. Then lately, mm -hmm. I, I see Rough K again, 
Il entend beaucoup de tout son chemin de faux oui, 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 To make sure that mm -hmm. I don't get some things wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is it concerning the discussion that you guys have had this evening. Mm -hmm. The diaspora is the that's the plug. Mm -hmm. If you remove that plug, the industry dies down. Mm -hmm. But nobody wants to acknowledge that mm -hmm. because of greed, because of selfishness. That's the point. But I'm happy you are not coming to terms that it's a fight worthy to fight from where you are based. Yeah, yeah. Let's not confuse ourselves because if today with, with the experience you have in the industry, mm -hmm. with what Ted has in his head, with what mm -hmm. some other people in the diaspora have, and mm -hmm. you guys have a synergy And mm -hmm. decide that all right, Mbola Ikane is connected with Hot Gem, who officially use Hot Gem as a platform to project all our stuff. Mm -hmm. We join all the energy with their approval and synergy. For example, I'm just saying, for example, we change mm -hmm. the platform to something big and we use it time and again and make it our own boom, make it our own trace, make it our own stuff. Before you know, they'll have million followers. Mm -hmm. Before you mm -hmm. know, they'll be scrambled to get us on other platforms, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always believe in creating solutions. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you always follow the trend, there are a lot of lies telling. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, a big way so that so man can, it must always pass the trace now. It must do this now. Those are all yeah. lies. Mm -hmm. Now, for that reason, that way, a lot of people don't be drowned in those lies for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, now, open eye and some other stuff, they make up, when some person, way small, do something, that the shadow of now go, go, go attach the crazy to a click. Mm -hmm. Because they want to pro pro propagate falsehood. For me, mm -hmm. that's how I see the 237 industry, the way it don't grow. And even the people, the way they make the largest noise, they still broke. If you want to check their control, shish, no delay. <laughs> Now, flashing left, flashing right. Fact, flash. facts, But about the facts. Annoying, uh, the annoying partner say that left and right flashing, they fool a lot of people when they get a spot where they wait them. But they know if it's taken because they're the one look on that people the way that they, that they play ping pong. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, you have an artist, a promising artist, just like Ted was saying. He don't just move a hit track. You get the point. Mm -hmm. He just mm -hmm. received one call from the so-called Andy's artist. Their track is good. Uh, don't settle for less, eh? Now, big grandmother will not put confusion for the rest of his career. Yeah. 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 To give out to the people where they stand at you, I get a clean case that I made. Yeah, connection, though. Big Bora, Big Bora, I beg, don't tell Adami do me so, so I beg, I beg, I beg, and that's how. My boy will instead come back, plead with me, say, Grant, just allow me to work with them. For example, the day that a collabo or something, something started making waves and stuff and stuff, the first thing he did was like, he sent, I think it was 10K or 15K to one of my boys and then cut them off. Mm -mm. How on earth will you not give back to where? Who, So some place will make you get a spot. Mm -hmm. 
And then the first thing we, we want to do, and I will turn your back against. You need to walk. That, so that's like biting the 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 finger or exactly. the hand that feeds you. Exactly. Yeah. And then what happens next? Now because they're already you big talk, they all for or they all for and mm -hmm. big talk. You start no say hey, when my one call will show cut the hundred back this this and that this this and that. Man, mm -hmm. even the likes of the alias artists, they are no most of them because I don't stay with the game. Mm -hmm. They cast have a backstage good for me, big brother. Be the put show, they be look at something they film for their eye. They know if it ever agrees that they will pass through that stage today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, will, they, will, they will take her from the stage where they start blue. Now, the stage that they join, now the stage that, Baba. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's really misleading. It I is. think that I will do the problem there. Now, since we already know that problem, what will be the way forward? Mm -hmm. The way forward is that uh, with a huge experience all of us have, mm -hmm. there should be a junction that our ideas will meet, relate, and do things the right way. I really mm -hmm. don't mind it. Eh? I really don't mind Say, man, we have been 10 years in this thing, in this thing, ton, ton. if we still add to another 10 years, then create some permanent impact and legacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. True, true. That's how true. I look at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The last time when me are, when me are touched Mike, that was back then in 2011. Mm -hmm. I get, as a person, I get an album of 13 track we never ever be released. And that album, the last Mike contribution of 2011, that is, that is 10 years to today, just like rough, 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 rough kid it up today. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't really mind. I don't really mind. I get, I get, I get people the way I work with them. They don't work like for three years. They don't get kind, kind story them from out there. Hey, you don't write. You correct. You don't do this. No, it doesn't work that way. I just want to say that now that we have, we have come to terms with some realities, there mm -hmm. is a there is the way forward is to merge ideas that thing I like and then recreate. A platform that will host all of us and that will be competitive enough to those mm -hmm. that are trying to block the right people from gaining the spot. Mm -hmm. That's what I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Um, Thank you too much wisdom in what you've said. Um, and that's why we um, came up with this Kame Artists in Diaspora. Um, I don't know if the name is good enough, but, you know, it's just we've just come to realization that, hold on a minute, we can actually do this thing ourselves. We don't need validation. Uh, we, we, don't, we, we don't need to go through a certain channel to get there. So we've just come to the realization. And talking of the 10 years, forget about the 10 years. We are, we are newborn. You know, like the Christians who say we are born again. Born again. Born again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and trust me, I want to say that it's a win-win for us all if if we, for Ground Zero, mm -hmm. will network with Huna for Diaspora. It's a win-win. Yeah. Exactly. But who, whichever person we think the other way around, me continue for first time, ye I can tell their agenda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then we will think say that network now the driving force where you go market be international. Let's focus on building that synergy. Mm -hmm. It will take time, but the people that will be patient, they will reap best from the initiative. That's what I think. Eh? That's what I think because. Trust me, tomorrow they'll start quote you, quote Ted, quote Nora, and quote me in funny, funny Kongosa groups. Let them come, let them quote to uh, let them quote. That's what they always do. Let them quote. Let them quote and, us. Anyways, guys, guys, um, guys, sorry, sorry, I'm big Bora. I'm I'm actually not home and my phone is like one percent, it's just gonna die in a minute. Um I'm I'm just gonna charge and maybe by the time I get back this will be over. But it's gonna my phone is gonna die in a minute, basically. 
Can you just um, put it on charge? Put it on charge. No, I'm I'm not home. I literally okay, have to drive home. It's home. about ten minutes oh. drive. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so, like I was hope, saying, I was saying mm -hmm. that, for example, you are you, you. Okay, then go you, then go then and um let me get you off the line. Okay. Then go yeah, then, then and connect yeah, in ten I, minutes. I don't think because yeah. I think Big Bora will have to say some few things. Then you might be able to join us again. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. For example, Rofke is doing one. Uh, he's doing challenge for his for his song, not so. And some people yeah. are taking it serious. Some are not taking it serious. Seriously. <laughs> we move. I like that new statement. The trend out there. We move. We move. We move. <laughs> we move. We move. We move. We move. We move. I remember when we started introducing pigeon rap. Back then in 2005, it was not easy. When the midst of it was, it was, it was um, so calm. I think it was so calm. The the music operation there was so calm. Mm -hmm. Was it so calm? No, it was not so calm. It was the it was it was the corporation before so calm, headed by 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 uh, one part like that. Those guys were wolves. You, we don't have a space. We we'll struggle. I have a platform on CRT TV to perform. They they power on the batter on the on, 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 on the drums to tell us that he has started playing in 1964. He will not complicate his drums for us to rap on it. Nobody is putting us upon all of those history. We started doing live rap music back then in 2005. But I, I, I'm not that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very. I don't I like I'm, me crazy. I'm I think not, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look for. I'm gonna look for Big Boras. Um, one of those their Bahut um songs back then in 2000. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. Yeah, for example, I'm, I'm gonna look for it and bring here so people can know who. We they are, are not fighting for crazy. It. Somebody like me personally, my wish is that let's do things the right way. That has always been my wish, and I've 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 always maintained that lane. That is why I always stay quiet. I don't I, I don't hate on people doing their things their way because that is their way. But I know the right way. I keep to that lane. I said, even though it might delay, I will finally get it right the way it is supposed to be done. If I missed out by my own way, and why did I miss out? It's because I wanted to stay on the right track and 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 they keep on distracting, say, hey, this side on the right side, this side on the right side, this side on the right side. Uh, if, if, if you cannot go to Douala and do this and that, nothing will happen. I said, no, in this Bamenda it will happen because I'm coming from Bamenda. Why should I go to Douala and do stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff? I keep on standing, I keep on standing. That is why I said that. These Makosa guys, they are not foolish. When they do their track, they will run to Bamenda. They will not promote from Douala and sell it. Bamenda get it from Douala. They will run to Bamenda and reach out to the local people and tap the blessings from Bamenda from Bamenda. But, but for us, you see a very promising artist who do a great song in Bamenda is rushing to go there. He wants to have a spot on, on Boa, on Sweet FM, on this and this, or, or this and that. Why your own people back home are staff? They don't even have access to that same music that you are rushing to go and promote out there. Who, who are going to serve as your, your ambassadors for that project that you are envisaging? That's the question I keep asking. Why will you allow seven radio stations in Bamenda alone to go and focus in one that they will ask you hundreds of thousands and stuff because they will give you airplay maybe two times in, in one week for one month because one airplay on CRTV now is almost 11,500 for, for those at off, 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 off time and for a month is thrown as on time and stuff. Meanwhile, you can take that money 
Uh, let me quote from Abakwa that I come from. There are close to a million people there. You take that 300k, share on seven radio platforms. They will play you until everybody, will, everybody, in fact, there will be no space for other programs. And then imagine that each home that is not listening to maybe a back or be listening to Radio Hot Coco, will be listening to this, will get to hear you. You already have amongst the one million persons in that geographical location, you have like 100,000. What do you need again? They will stand behind you and take you where you want to go. They will be proud about you in the Anjangi houses. I do not know that this our child can do like this. But rather, you choose to go and spend those things that, uh, you know, I, 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 so that people love me so good to come on our TV, those comments, man, all of these things. Listen, little details matter. Those little, little blessings that we omit, we skip to go and get bigger ones, right? When you accumulate them, they are far more bigger than the bigger one we, we, we run to go and get. That belief holds in showbiz. So this thing that you guys have been saying, it is very interesting to me. And I feel that with the right network, it's going to be a game changer. Imagine that visibly in ETAS, networks with you in UK, and there is a show there, he pops out, the community there represents, the you we are team network gets rocky, to a task. Yeah. Man, are they using some kind of language that we don't know? Rocky sings in pigeon, VV sings in pigeon, they represent, they know our culture, they know the in and out, they know say Pamena Man will chop at you, they know that they are saying exactly the same thing the people back there are saying. Yeah, yeah. But the only difference I say the the that people will back there, they don't they get a click. We will not belong to that thing that is sideline you. So yeah. let's form our own clique where it go instead be inclusive for teach them a lesson. True, true. That's very right. That's if what we know, need to do. You always be welcome in our clique and we will, we will succeed in our clique without you coming to us. As simple as that. It will true. work. It will work. Oh, definitely. definitely. That is why work. in one of my comments I said that Artists in the diaspora should network, get multi-talented mindset amongst the community and do things. Yeah. 237 Showbiz, Prodigy Blog, uh, Equa TV, Miss uh, uh, all of these guys started from something, and we all know we all know the algorithms of social media platforms. Yeah, imagine yeah. Rob K himself alone have spent close to thirty thousand pounds. It means that he is so passionate to raise one thousand five hundred pounds right now for a good cause. Oh, definitely. Times one thousand five hundred pounds times six. You understand? It gives about twelve thousand pounds, not so. Yeah, we about... use that on exclusive promo on a, a on a platform that we have built. We said that each day one hundred pounds. We target fifty countries, including Cameroon. We go to Cameroon. We target we target four major cities for promo. The likes will climb before you know one more page has up to 25, 30,000, 40,000 likes. Yeah, yeah. But it's a collective idea, it's not a one man thing. No, definitely, definitely. And the thing and is, when that post has 50,000 likes, what, what happens automatically when you post something, we have 50,000 ambassadors and it moves on? Yeah. What yeah. would the other blogs that were so crazy about what they are doing have to say then? They'll have yeah. to reach out to you for a possible collaboration in manner of approach or in everything. And what happens is a win-win. 
You have, yeah. you have, you have humbled them with your hard work. And mm -hmm. then you have taught them a lesson of collaboration, and it's working. Yes. You see, for example. Yeah, it's all, it's all, um, that which is what we are trying to do. So, like, um, the Hot Gem asked if we had any bloggers in our group. We don't have any bloggers, not yet. So, once we have that platform which is willing to work with us, especially like the Hot Gem, I think it's based in America, you see. So, once we can create something of the sort and start working with them and then have our people back, because we need the back and forth so people in Cameroon as well to be, you know, we need that material going back and forth, which is good. That's what we are trying to do. And once we um, strengthen our base here, yeah, that's what we are going to aim to do. Get a platform, just the one platform that we are going to build it. When we build with that platform, that's going to be um, the, the outlet for all, all the things that we are doing out here, you see. Which is which is uh, is the main effort is the main effort for when um, things open up this year, as we go towards the second half of the year and everything, that will be the main effort for all these um, activities to roll out. Yeah, so that's um, our main effort. So, yes. Um, without further ado, please, if you guys don't mind, you have to excuse me. I've been on the, in front of a camera for over quite a, <laughs> three four hours now, so I've been on there since six. So. I have to excuse myself and go talk my kids to bed. So yeah, guys, um, we have we really. I mean, it's I can't believe that we have been sitting here. This has been um an interesting topic, and as I said, we are going to be coming back again on this on this topic, and and when we do, we are going to involve um some some showbiz personnels in the in 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 Ground Zero in Cameroon. To, to give a, to give their own view on this point so um mm -hmm. it's i know it's late now you know it's we well, have really been here for 2 hours something and and yeah ted franklin's um ted franklin's need to go um he needs to go now but before you go teddy um i'll just read a few comments and then you give your closing remarks and then i'll take you um of the of the show Okay. Um, to, um, showbiz compound says 237 um, 237 bloggers go for likes they like making cheap posts that brings them cheap likes that's what I noticed they consider that diaspora artists slow down the grain of their various pages and blogs since they are not known yet in 237 um then you have Mbole says, artists spend more time wanting to be the king, but none of them have any money saved. If they spend that energy learning about the business of music, they will spend more time trying to cash in, trying to cash in than being, than, than beefing all among themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, is that part where she said if they spend more energy learning about the business, so a lot of them do not even know about the business of music, they just go yeah. and sing music. So there's a lot to be learned there as well. You see, so once they have done once they grasp that idea of the business behind music, then a lot of things will actually start falling into place. So, yeah, I agree with that point, Bolo. Okay, then, um. Then that was Big Bora. <laughs> Mbole was shocked and said, oh my gosh, Big Bora knows I'm linked to the hot gem. I don't blow. <laughs> 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 then um, he said, um, thank you, Chai. Big Bora is saying everything I have always thought. The clicks is real in Cameroon. They have a few privileged people in their clicks. Exactly. Um, then I think when Rough K was talking about the name of the diaspora, then Showbiz Compound suggested 237 diaspora artists. <laughs> then Bole says we move, but we really need to boost our diaspora artists, entertainers, media outlets, and also um, and also that we will also be sought after by those back home. That's when levels will change, and we will be the ones 
will be the ones they are running after. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That, that's the main effort. Yeah, I that's think I think that's true. But but I have but I have a feeling on this because I am I am I am like you know surrounded by by some few I'm a Cameroonian artist and some that i know some that are my uh i mean they're my family some that i know and uh well, well maybe uh you guys have already talked about this but uh when i started talking about this i spoke to i mean Bole about it and uh, there was this thing that came up i i got into one bloggers uh on my facebook and i brought this up so this guy was like, no, um, that's what I need to like, you know, motivate the people back home. They need to pay for their for their publicity and so forth. I said, oh, so it is just about money or what? Us here in, us in the diaspora, if we want to tax them back home, are they, are they going to pay us that money? Is that what it is all about? So to me, I, I feel that if those back home want to build the bridge honestly we have what it takes for us to to blow and do whatever it takes but if they want to build the bridge and i will say so i will not to my words i don't have any excuses to give they have to make sure that they to support us that is yeah. a big that is a big thing that has to be done they have to make sure that they to support us because we are doing all what it takes um uh you know eric banaf um and Bole, all those other ones in their shows that they talk about about those that are home okay now i think now it is time for us to start you know to talk about us that is here and we leave those at home is that yeah. what is going to happen mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's see, who, we'll see, what is let's see who will be rushing. Let's see who yeah. will be rushing for the order. Yeah. Yeah. Then, just like I said, I have nothing like an excuse to do. If they think that okay, it is all about money, it is not just about money. Start by like doing the little sharing, the little likes, or the little comments. That's where things will start to like you know unfold. Start to talk about um, you know artists that are based here. Start to talk about them. Adele Claris and uh, and and uh, and uh, the All those people that are here. Which day have those people like try to talk about them? I, I mean, do they even know them? They don't know them because they don't even want to know them. That's just the thing. Yeah, they don't yeah, want they to. They're not bothered. They are not bothered. Yes, they don't know bother them. to know them. You you guys have. Like you know, what back home? How how many have you called? And uh, you have yes, all those things. I I do mostly movies and so forth. how many have blow i mean we try to that's just where i've been like really really bitter about this for the past i mean for the past month i've been like singing about this about this and trust me there's a video that i'm that i'm doing that is going to address this thing i will talk about it three day talked about it i mean we did a video the video is not out but i'm i'm still going to do my own video for that it is really really coming uh um, just like a one-sided thing but go to the nigerian community they're saying that no no nigeria are like doing this go and see them how many nigeria artists are, are based there in nigeria but they make sure that they talk about those that are home based and those that are outside so i i believe that there is much work to be done if uh if i mean you know salatia can be very very happy and you know sit in his in his place and you know promote himself and do things fine i mean he has blown yep then now uh, where's the transition from him and the next generation where is that transition there's no transition just like the makosa did there wasn't any transition 
Yeah, Michael is Michael is struggling with network there because um because uh, because he's driving um he's on a journey so thank him what well, I'm grateful that he at least tuned in for the show um so I'm gonna take him away from this life and then I and Big Bora will conclude um he will say his last remarks um will conclude and then um. And then that will be it. And then we'll schedule another. At least we've been here for two hours, thirty minutes. Oh my god! And then we'll schedule another, another um, show that will involve more people in the show. So, um, so Big Bora, I'm just going to read a few comments, and then um, you'll give some closing remarks. If if by then Rough K joins us, fine. He too will give closing remarks, and then that will be the end of the show. And then we'll we'll schedule another date, maybe. Um, maybe in a week's time, and then we'll come back again to talk on this subject. So we might we might make it like a series um, because it seems like it's a big problem that we need solutions and we need to work hand in hand to to achieve a common goal for the industry for it to grow. So this is showbiz compound says big borrower. That's the main problem. They take big money to pay those who bother less about their success neglecting those who strive for them to be top artists. Um, then uh, I think Bole says, thanks, thank you all. Very interesting feedback for me to take away. Um, then, uh, what's this? That should be That's just spam message. Um, then this one says, um, Shobi says they are bringing up it. 8020 system. I wonder how it's gonna hold. I ask myself if they are going to add 237 artists in the diaspora or they will put them aside. Okay. So that's um, so those are the last comments. So guys, um before before we give our closing remarks, I know we all have been here for so, so long. Let me just put something a little bit um, entertaining, entertaining for you guys for a while. So you you get to know who Big Bora is a little bit. And then, and then from there now, we'll give our closing remarks and then we'll end this, this show. I'm in that city. I get my history, history. They might just like us. Now why we they come by force? My boss. They is a pay like let's to is a SA. All out where we want boss with the horse around the clock. Then say, go oh, I must be Nangola. Me and my boss, we love them. Tie our back we know the them. We have the horse that's so for go. Even for time we think that we slow before them know we this is the show. Bamenda one, Bamenda two, Bamenda three with the fire. And now the fire to take us higher. So so higher, we know go die. and you can imagine how far he's come okay so when he when he's talking he's talking from experience they have been in the game for long so um big brother before we go what 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 are your closing remarks on this topic what what are the take-home messages you want to give the audience um based on this topic about diaspora inclusion and and all all right um i want to say that um, we 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 don't pay attention to little details, but those little details are the things that will destroy a mansion even after it has been well furnished. Because 
a small detail was missing in the original architectural plan for conception, the house will go down. What do I mean by that? I want to say that the, the media space that gives priority to hope artists and try to exploit those in the diaspora, they are putting a bullet on their leg because we are in a digitalized world and a lot of people have come to terms with what is happening for real. It's high time the media space in 237 should wake up give equal chances on their platform to both artists home based and to the same artists from that same region out of the country because in a nutshell you are projecting your country at the end of the day if you want to be biased in doing what you are doing you will be biased in projecting so you can never proud and say that I'm representing where I come from when you are biased in doing that. Exactly. That said, I also want to give a wake-up call to artists. Don't depend your career on what you hear. Don't set a roadmap for your career because you heard that, for example... Salatia, Stanley Eno, Jovi did this like this before they become who they are. That is what you know from what they told you, which is far different from what was actually the situation. I'm a living testimony to the fact that I will hear some artists grand interview on TV and they will mention things that they know not of because I mentored their career from scratch, but they will not mention me. I'm not bothered because I was not doing that so that I should get credited at some point in time. But I'm just imagining how that is misleading to their followers when they pick up that interview and want to follow their steps, which were all lies. Artists that are upcoming, artists that are setting their roadmap for success should rely on hard work, should study the business of music. music. The music business. As simple as that. Have your role model in terms of their inspirational trend or what or genre, not hearing what they are telling you that led them to being successful because they will not tell you the truth. That is the, that is the bitter reality in the, in the industry when 237 is concerned. Those that are finally made it somewhere because they are not even up there. When they make it somewhere, they cloud it, they shadow it such that you should not even attempt to meet them. But they don't know that having a collecting goal as the main objective will project all of us further. It will shoot us further. That is the truth. Yeah. That is the truth. There are times that artists in Nigeria, some particular artists, will stay mute with projects because they want others to show up and gain some spot. Let all of them make a name and money for themselves. That is what we need. Not this where you gain small spotlight, you prevent others, you lie others, you, you want to be completely in control. Uh, if you want your music to pass on this, this and that, it's through me, you give a tip, it's me that have a connection. I, for one, I can boast that I had a lot of connections back there and I gave them out for free. There are artists that have never gone to Nigeria, went to Nigeria, saw the realities in Alaba, came back, shared the information for free. 
He gave them way and they go out there, they are making it. They are not quoting me, but I don't mind. But I'm happy that my brother is making it because I showed him the way between him and I. Our consciences are we are we are speaking the same language. That is what should be done. Don't get small spotlight and, and, and cloud it and shadow others not to even have access to it or want to be the main messiah to it. It doesn't work that way. When we are at that stage that people are getting wiser every now and then. And by the time that your lies and your greed and everything caught up with you, you'll be dumped. Let's wise up. Collective goal will grow much more faster. But when we rely on our individual greed and, 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 and methodology, we'll, we'll be rising, but at a very slow pace. That's what I want to say to the artists, community, and to the bloggers and stuff, man, let's give equal chances to everybody. And let's stop exploiting those from out there. If you are taking 45K for me that I'm back home for, for to exhibit something for one month, take the same for somebody out there. That same person will be impressed with what you have taken for and the job you have done. I will give you a tip that is more than what you even ask. Because he has the he has the the, the access to hustle more and, and get, not hustle that they will owe him at the end of the month, you see. But we'll start by trying to exploit, and he feels that you're exploiting him. Even if he's giving, he, he's reluctantly giving, I will never recommend you. It doesn't make sense. So, that said, I'm looking forward to the day that we'll have a fair debate with, 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 with some of these people I feel they are greedy so that I can tell them to their face exactly how it was supposed to be done and how their things how it's been done now and what has been corrected. Yeah. And that said, I also want to thank 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 Narawan Talk so much for for the great job you guys have been doing and especially for adding me into this talk this evening. It was not planned before, but I'm happy I'm part of it. <laughs> At least Big Bora um Thank you so much. Um, they are getting to know you. Um, let me bring a few, a few. Um, ahead. This is Teddy Rainey. I don't know who he is. He said ahead, ahead. Then he says something. Um, he says, sincerely speaking, I've never heard of Big Bora. Yeah. Let him come back. <laughs> He said, sincerely speaking, I've never heard of Big Bora. He speaks good. Keep it up, bro. We are feeling you. Keep the flame. So that is um, Teddy Rainey. Yes. Yeah, so, so guys, um, so Big Bora, thank you so much. And I'm so happy that you stepped in into this live broadcast, impromptu. Um, you were not even supposed to be one of the guests, but um, you came in to share your own idea. And I can assure you that um, this is just an introduction into the into the topic. And I, I think we're going to make this in a series. So I'm going to have a conversation with um, with you, Rolf K and Ted at the back, because you guys have been longer in the game of showbiz. And we'll try to see who from Cameroon, from Ground Zero, that we can bring um, we can bring on our next live show so that it can be more interactive on this particular subject because I think it's a, it's a subject that we are going to have a series of live shows on this because we need we need solutions to this problem. Um, it's, I think it's a big problem that is plaguing the industry. So we need solutions and we can only do that by working together, working together to make solutions. So um so that is it i'm going to end this live and then i'll just i'll just play some few um music um at the back for the audience to to get entertained i think the two um i'll play um rough k unfortunately he's not yet to give his closing remarks because his phone got bad but he'll be coming again and Thank you guys. Thanks to everybody who have stepped in. Thank you, Big Bora. And right, thanks, thanks so much to Big Bora. Thanks to the fans. Thanks to Teddy. 
brand new. I'm not always seen, but I'm always doing the work behind. So uh, that's how it yes, is. Yes. I want to say thank you so much to our brown tops. You guys have been doing great so far lately, and please keep the trend on. We are together, um, you know. There's back and, and, there's and, and you did that, man, man. I, I, I salute your effort. I just, I just saw it's coming right now. I salute your effort. This is another person that is very real on the ground. And from my experience, from the time being that I've known him on different different spots, it's it is it's somebody that is real. That's one of the rarest people. I have an opportunity that he has commented on this on on this, and let me use this opportunity to to tell him to keep up what what he's doing because he's doing it right. Okay, so thank you so much, um, DJ um, DJ Dexman. Um, thank you so much for tapping in, and we hope that in the live, in the next um, live video we have, in maybe in a week, in a week's time or two weeks' time, um, you guys will still tap in and give your contributions because this is this is a problem that we need to work together to find a common ground and a common solution um, to make the industry better. So thank you so much, um, Big Bora. Thanks. Um, so you guys have a good evening and I would like to tell you um, bye and it was nice having you guys on this live broadcast. Um, we love you and we'll see you again soon. Have a good night. Yaga. Rough gonna begin. Hey. Diaspora Jacka Shabba Living life, chopping life just how I want If you think you can stop me, you really can't Take a walk to my past, make you understand How I raised myself, one man band Now for East End, every weekend Man, they chase that door, rich Big Ben London City and the system Shit held me down like na stem. I've been coming up from the ground floor One step at a time just to be sure My Viale Pope was hardcore If you wear in my shoes, you go back draw In my life, now me be the driver Step in at the place like a diver, stand tall like now skyscraper. Bombo, I'm all about the paper. Welcome to my world. Now me they call the shots All your advice is leave them for your thoughts Thoughts here only for you check mine The route don't matter but the finish line I keep it going on my own line Freezing my life tastes like a fine wine Give marriage counseling but you no know, get man Smonga place cold in the blow fan My mind made up like a whole gang I get full pot today with empty pan Keep up spiritual Ramadan Stay for my own job Caravan You know if you beat me for my own town I'm a football field Welcome to my world
this Among all them now wonderful In the club they prove they are so strong Act in the club just like ninja They dance in the club just like machine This call of a past me and no no Boy now how, where will it go? How we go do? Cause choice no day Woman a bad thing, woman a good thing Which one I go choose? Oh boy, waiting I go do because You go up, calm down, woman must stay there Go east, go west, woman must enter Dance in the club, shake their body, wind their body Move it to the right, move it to the left Run to the dance floor like Air Force Jet Dance to the heat high like Molly Girls get your courage, run for their back Tell them the story, dance to the rhythm Feed the music, make it go molo molo Make it go nayo nayo Yes, nayo nayo, hey. We make the club boom, hey yo We make the club holla, hey yo If you feel it, make the club shout, hey yo My home is in the club holla, hey yo Naughty Pro de Best Pipe Electronics La boutique de moins cher Good fame sous le mic Tout le monde dans la salle Everybody come on down Shake your body, move your body Dance to the rhythm, make it hot Shake it go like Vuka, 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 Vuka Ah, show Tout le monde est position de tirer Va décaler au sofa comme ça c'est nagé All the position, position de griser All the griser, griser, griser Allez tapez, 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 tapez les mains Manolo Music Chapel, le meilleur Bouba, Manolo, Guinness, au Mazoulé Nouveau Pierre, Boum Boum DJ Chris Mix Boum Boum, everybody na Boum Boum Tapez, t'en chute, DJ Eli, lève ta mosto Boum Boum, Bouba, Maye, Bouba, Maye, au Mouet, au Mambo Wang Johnson Sonne, le délégué Support the number one of culture. Mustina, them a rapper me come, them a rapper me come. Tata Bumbo bring my side to high, he got no mando. High is down there, I like the way the sound is hitting me. Everybody put your position, put your position, put your position, put your position, DJ. Matuya Clement, we make the club move, hey yo, 